Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Today we're going to be testing a few more hypotheses. Um, I'm going to pull up my notes to see what's actually next on the list because I think we did the main things that I wanted to test last time. I'm going to pull up the sheet. Most recent test we did was attempting to doze off on the fire, which basically resulted in nothing happening. So, next on my list, let me pull it up again. So, my hypothesis is based on the fact that the Noma used timber hearths, like core stone, to, to prevent the supernova from entering Ash Twin Project. Um, major spoilers, by the way. <laughs> if anyone here hasn't played the game, play the game first before watching any of this. Um, because I'm not really playing the game. I'm just experimenting <laughs> with what remains after you've finished playing the game. Let's wake up. Um... Bath. So, oh no, not the village, just the regular. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, hypothesis. You can survive the supernova for a very slight amount of time longer within the core of timber hearth now I think it's probably pretty far-fetched um, and I'm wondering how can I test I wonder if I need to firstly do a test where I'm just standing outside the um, what would you say, outside the, the zero-g cave entrance. And then if I time the amount of time between the of the supernova and death, and then do it again and see if it's the exact same or if I stay alive for just a tiny bit longer in the core, I think that will be a good way of testing it. So, we'll doze off for like 20 minutes. Um, oh, actually, I'll go get my suit first so I can boost on out of here straight away. Okay, let's just go 15 minutes and then let's just screw around for another five. Oh, she big and red. She very big and very red. Let's get my timer out. Okay. I wonder if the scout's going to fall back onto the path. Or can it escape gravity, pretty simply? Well, I guess the moon. I can't even see the moon. Oh, I see. That's a cool shot. No, it's going to fall back down to the planet pretty quick. Didn't lie very far away. That's interesting. You realize how hollow this was, like all the way up. Not very tall. That's interesting. You can see the um, purple thingy. I wonder if there's a way I can get up there. 
Just like on the underneath of it. It doesn't really matter where on Timhath I am for the first timing, I think. Outside the um whatchamacallit. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize this is still on not big screen. Um, yeah, I can't really get that high. What else can I land on intermediately? Intermediate. Um, I could try to just do it from here. Oh, or. I could use that. That. I wasn't even using my booster just now, and it seemed like pretty easy to get up there from there. Is it? Surely it's not as easy to float up when you're um not in your suit. You totally can land there. It would totally be possible. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Okay, let's not waste our life right now. Because I... I do want to do this test. Maybe I'll just go cook some marshies. Get him nice and brown. Oh, God damn. Oh, here comes the sun. Make sure we're nice and healed up for it. So before we get burned. Yeah, gotta make sure we're at full health actually. Um, you know what, I can just heal on the bloody... <sighs> I am full, I think. Oh shit! Shit! Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate that thing so much. Oh. What would the Nomai have done if they didn't just so happen to find a rock on another planet that could withstand the heat of the supernova? Also, how, how did they know it would withstand the supernova just by... <coughs> purely by checking it on, um... Hollow's land? Cause surely lava is not nearly as hot as the sun, let alone a supernova. Okay, where am I going? Caves this way. Um, yeah, for scientific purposes, I'll stand right in this doorway. So we can see a full view of the sky and still get burned. I'll watch from the map actually, because that way I can keep a good timer. Whoa! Oh! Did they update this or is this just in the Switch version? You can see inside the sun. In other versions you just see white. Pure white. That's very interesting. I quite like the look of that. It's a bit trippy. What does a supernova look like inside the sun? What? Okay. Okay, it kind of. the camera shifts outside of it. Okay. I started the timer just like a split second after it blew up. Okay, it's 18 seconds from the explosion to full white screen. 
we're probably not going to notice a difference. But I don't know. I feel like I was watching a stream one time when someone was. They were either in this in the core or in mining site two B, and I just I just could have sworn it just lasted a little bit longer. I think that's when I wrote this down. Is because I was watching someone do that. Okay. Right. To make this truly a scientific test, I should probably do the same timer I just did twice, just to see if I get 18 seconds again. Why not? It's only going to take 5 minutes really. I wonder if the Harthians aren't that far away from discovering how to land on the bottom of the moon themselves. I feel like they would be able to figure it out just by taking photos. Okay. Back to Miss Nova. Try and be more precise with my timing. Eighteen, eighteen. Pretty consistent timing. Okay. So let's try it again in the cave. As far as I know, that that doorway where I was standing is the only entrance in. So it's the only way the supernova can theoretically get in is through there, because the walls surrounding it is all the supernova-proof shell. Excuse me. So I mean, I would expect there to be like a maybe one second delay realistically but let's see let's see if they thought about it it blows off for like 19 minutes this time maybe 18 18 and a half should be enough time Morning. Interesting timing. A very red morning. Oh. I did not just do that. Oh shit. No, I need to heal up. Because death depends on how burnt you already are, probably. That's pretty funny. Okay, okay, okay. We still got time, I think. No music yet. Oh no, it's coming. Okay, so this is a normal rock, but as soon as we go down this elevator, we hit magic space rock. Okay, okay, it's about halfway down. Now we're deep in the magic space rock, and there's definitely no exits. So, 
it's going to take some time for the Nova to either come through via the entrance or to pierce through the stone in this core. But this is definitely all like hard stone. Right? Yeah, all of this. All of this is like pure timber hearth stone, which should theoretically protect us a little bit. Theoretically. I'm gonna hide inside this uh, broken satellite. It's interesting, like the design of this. It doesn't look like anything else. But it does kind of look like a satellite. But like a kind of complex set. I, I kind of reckon Old Spacey should have been modeled on this. And they should have made Old Spacey a lot bigger because it's almost inconceivable how small Old Spacey is for the job that it's able to do. Oh, I should have left my scout outside and see if it recalled before we die. That would be a good test. But the time I should work too. same time so it doesn't appear to help us at all um, I would guess that it's simply the it's not like the specific rock is programmed to stop the supernova it's just that literally within ash twin there's a protection programmed into it you know so look it's hard to say um, within the world of the game, if it should protect you at all or not. Um, I don't know. But I thought maybe it would for a little bit. Because the thing is, like, Astron keeps you alive for, like, a minute, maybe? No. At least 30 seconds. Um, and that's with completely sealed. So I would have thought, like, with it being almost completely sealed, except for an entrance that's quite far away. I thought it might protect you for a little bit. So we'll just say hypothesis dis disproven, which was kind of my expected outcome, but I, I would have been quite happy to learn if it was um, possible to be protected. Having no suit is as close as I can get to looking at the stars without the user interface covering things up. But I can only do it from Timbath. <laughs> from the village, even. Hold on. No, I can fly the ship <laughs> somewhere else on Timbath. Or anywhere with oxygen without needing the ship. That's a good idea. I should just do that. Just do a few loops where I go to every planet that I can, where I can land somewhere with oxygen, and just look at the stars from a unique angle without the user interface and stuff. It just has a way of looking slightly more marvelous. Okay, let's see what's next on my list. Okay. I wrote down that I want to duplicate myself and then meditate. But... Like, that's definitely just going to break space-time. I don't think that's really even worth testing. However, this could be worth testing. Duplicating self 
and then sleeping in the dream world. Or even better than that, duplicating self then going through the fire in the dream world. If you did that, would space-time break when you die or when you leave the dream? Duplicate self, remove ash twin core, then go through fire into dream world. I feel like I'd rather just do that one, just that one, because that's the ultimate test to know what actually happens and what different ending you get. So, in theory, when you normally duplicate yourself and then you don't jump back in the core, you break space time because there's still two of you at the end. But if you sort of, if you're able to get into the dream world via death, and then there's technically only one of you alive at the end. I actually, I don't think it's about there being two of you. It's just the fact that you don't go back through the black hole. But just to test the limit. To see if you still get break, break space time death. I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Yeah. Duplicate, then take out the core. Then die in the dream world. Die to get into the dream world. What is the hypothesis? What do I have to actually, actually write? My hypothesis. You will not break space time. I think it's a pretty, pretty, um, far out hypothesis. Like, my expectation is that you'll still break space time, because I feel like that ending will override any other ending, but I'm thinking in terms of within the confines of the game, your consciousness existing in the dream world post-death, how could your consciousness know? That you broke space time or is it not really about that i don't know i don't really know what the i guess internal logic of breaking space time really is don't know if i fully understand it because also like what are the limits on that the idea is just you warping yourself back in time and not warping yourself back in time so that you can warp back in time. But technically, every time you warp on any warp platform, you're warping back in time by a very small amount. And that doesn't require you to continually loop yourself through. Because even for a brief, brief moment, there are two of you existing at the same time. So, I mean, maybe the, maybe the logic isn't that deep. Maybe it's just they thought it was funny, so... They did it. <laughs> Let's just find out. Um, got a bit of time, I think. So. Woo. Frame rates being a bit screwy right now. I should really clear the chat. It's now bothering me. It's like no one wants to read Welcome to the Chat Room 17 times.
That's interesting. I didn't thrust backwards or forwards, but somehow my velocity changed direction. Is it just because it went around the sun? Is it going to reverse now that it's coming toward me? Yes, it's slowing down. And it's going back. Interesting. flying towards it again. But I think ultimately we are flying away from it. Or I should say, on average, we're moving further backwards than we are forwards, maybe? So I don't know, I feel like the sun's getting slightly closer. Let's reverse, so let's, let's just start going towards it. <laughs> the slow approach. It's somewhat more realistic. <laughs> when you think about how fast we usually approach planets in this game and then think of in real life if you saw a rocket ship approaching Earth that quickly <laughs> and then just like really suddenly de decelerating. Be a bit freaky. Like seeing an actual rocket ship using gravity braking would be quite interesting. Okay, sun's getting big now. Getting closer there. I've really just got a bunch of time to waste, so I'm sick of dozing off. <laughs> it's not very entertaining for anyone. Hello. I find that fascinating. Whoa! <laughs> that was a nice flyby. Um like how it feels like the sun's not that far away when you shoot a scout it takes quite a while to actually reach the surface oh jeez oh jeez oh come on don't do that <laughs> not when we're almost there So, I'm first duplicating myself, then I have to do all of this again, so that I can steal the core. Oh, but I don't have to wait as long, obviously, to steal the core. I just have to wait till the towers, towers are exposed and then grab it and go. Let's park safely under the bridge. Not that we're gonna need the ship. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, I just realized there is some oxygen on this planet. What if I could park real close to the Ashwin Tower? Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't screw around because I don't know how many loops of sand we have before. We don't have any more sand. Not that you need the sand, but how many more rotations, basically, of the planet we have before we can no longer 
get inside. But that's an interesting idea for when we do that o oxygen idea that I have. Um, this way. God, I'm confusing myself. Fascinating. It's like a pupil. What does this look like when it's zoomed in? Oh my god. Whoa! That was weird. Ah, oh. ah, oh, it's because this thing's spinning so fast. You just like. Constantly resyncing with them. <laughs> interesting. That's very interesting. If I do it the other way, about the same. Wait, what? What just happened? Why did that. What is. Oh god. Is this Joy Con drift? Is that what that is? No. Now it's fine. Now it's... What? What is going on? I'm not... I'm not doing that. Up and then let go and it just goes down. It's not just... No, it's not just the signal scope. I'm gonna put up with it because I can't be bothered trying to like fix my controllers right now. But I'll have to Google that later and find out what people normally do when that happens. This is pretty bad that I could get a brand new switch, brand new OLED switch, and it still has Joy-Con problems. I'm gonna try and trap myself inside. I know it's possible. I've seen someone do it. And they were just like, what the hell do I do? I think at that point they hadn't um, figured out meditation, so... Okay. Man, it's going to be hard to actually intentionally do it. I don't know how they did it. It was pure bad luck that they ended up doing it. You gotta be quite close to already being there. The girl. Oh, no. Um, I don't mind the scouts on there because I don't want to accidentally loop go back outside. Let's align myself with it, so that I'm... Pretty much right next to it. Ah, 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 ah. No, I opened it again, didn't I? Oh, I don't have long. Can I try it? I don't know how to, I don't know how to push myself in that direction. So I have to be just like as close as I can while I'm holding it and then kind of let go. Like that, sort of. I'll push it away and go back. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Just you and me now, baby. 
Opa, 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 opa. Hello, hello, hello. I wonder what you look like when you become a black hole from from right in here. <laughs> Well, the whole thing actually opens up, doesn't it, before... Yeah, so it opens up anyway, so the trapping myself inside wasn't that big a deal, but... <laughs> instantly warped. As soon as it started expanding. That's very cool. Next step, take the core, go have a dream. <gasps> I feel that was coming quite close. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, what have I done? No, 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 I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh. Oh. No, okay, I'm not going to get out of here alive. As soon as I'm going to have to do all of that again. God damn it. No. Oh, slide, slide. Damn. That is so annoying. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh. I don't even want to hear the kazoo. Get it, skip, skip, instant skip. <sighs> so disappointed in myself. I just wish there was something fun to do while I was dozing off. You know what's interesting? When you doze off, time goes faster. But if you're dreaming while dozing off, time goes at pretty much regular speed, I think. I thought it would have been interesting if they made the game move slower when you're inside the dream. I know there's like only a couple like trigger points where the timer actually pauses, which I only recently learned. But it'd be cool if they just slowed it down entirely. What's a creative way to waste my time without killing myself? I can just look at the stars. Now we're gonna say hi to Chirrut and look at the stars with them. I can't use the med kit when I'm not using the suit. That's silly. like a full-size Outer Wilds theme park. It's 
Sup chat. How you doing? I think I found anything anyway. Just listen to your beautiful sound. Gaze at the stars. From this rock. I wish the control was slightly smoother. Joy-Con just doesn't have any smoothness to it. Very janky. Actually, we could do two tests in one. I have another hypothesis that if you force the quantum moon to stay here, it can be engulfed in, by the sun, although it might move beyond our sight. I don't really want to get the suit right now. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna lose it. Although I feel like I've had it before where like if you're looking at it through a planet, it doesn't go away. Could be wrong. I love how happy chat looks. Just slapping those drums, or that drum. Oh no, I can see the moon's gone to Brittle Hollow now. Okay. I could lower my sensitivity, couldn't I? Go to the minimum. It's exactly the same. What? Did I do the right thing? Look sensitivity, right? While on foot. Okay. That's confusing. Okay, so there is definitely a difference, but not very much. Oh, actually, I, I understand. Um, when I'm pushing like as far as I can go, this is definitely slower. But if I try and push it just a tiny bit, it's on like this must be like the same minimum of speed no matter what your look is sense set to so if I try my minimum uh, maybe a little bit more actually oh no oh god I keep killing myself I swear I'm not trying to do this <laughs> Dozing off would probably be the safer option for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm really bad at keeping myself alive while I'm trying to do this death. Huh. Oh. 
At least I didn't break space time. Oh, I gotta wake up. Oh, shit. If I didn't give myself enough time, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm trying to do too many things at once right now. It's not very wise. It's really not very wise. Just need to make it inside before it's finished funneling its sand. Do your worst, son. left. Are we okay? Whoop! <laughs> Almost landed in the tower. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Don't be like that. I still like the Ferris Vol. It's wait under the bridge. <laughs> this is such a stupid solution. I can't believe this used to be how you were meant to do it. It's like, wait here and just run in like that. Extremely unintuitive. I thank the stars for whoever thought of putting that nook in there. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why is the black hole open? What? How was anyone meant to figure that out? Oh, the sand's finished. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I don't think we have a... Once again, we wasted another loop by screwing around instead of just focusing on our objective. But that's really weird, why did the black hole open? That shouldn't happen. There was nothing... I didn't leave my scout there. Maybe I was just close enough to it that it triggered. But not close enough to get sucked in by it. I'm gonna have to test that next loop, just double check if... That's not a bug, <laughs> and that it just does it. Actually, there's no sand. I was looking for sand. Of course there's no sand. But, um... We can hope that we align before the supernova? I don't think we do. I don't think we will. seen someone do it but I think they might have patched the game so that it doesn't happen that way because they don't I guess they don't want people to figure out that you can do it at the end of the loop which actually to be honest I think wouldn't be bad I think that would be a good way of helping people figure it out and then they have to figure out the whole sand thing which once they know that the warp works it's like it shouldn't be that big a deal I think you just see the edge of the in-between before. Before you die. Yeah. Or if it warped like literally last second before you die. That'd be interesting. Okay, this time. No deaths. No getting distracted. No screwing around.
Can I keep looking at the moon? It's still there. I had to look away to make sure I didn't fall off the cliff. Okay. Let's cozy up with shirt and doze off for another 15. Or or we do some pod racing. That's a good way to spend time. It's just not as easy on the twins. With the low gravity. Hello, unrendered chert. Do some laps without touching the rock at all. Oh, Ooh. no! I did. I did land on the rock. That was almost, almost. if I could get under that thing and then back up oh that's a good one if I could get under that that would be, that would be some pod racing so I'm gonna get sucked in by the sun soon. One more lap and then we're gonna have to top up. How are we... how did we just leave orbit? I've been thrusting downwards like almost the entire time. Final stretch to chert with just oxygen. Oh god, can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, oh yes. But I can't get up. Oh my god. No. No. Why do I do this to myself? Wait, wait. Is your Give me oxygen, please. Oh, yes. There's just a tiny bit of it right there. <laughs> but it's cost so much more oxygen to get up to that point.
<laughs> okay, okay, we're full. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Wait. Oh. Jump, and then boost. Yay! That's that. Alright. Let's have a nice marshy. Nothing brings me back to full strength. Like some good on it, and marshmallow. How is everyone so okay with sleeping in these things? Must be freezing out here. Well, I guess we're pretty close to the sun. <laughs> it feels like it would be freezing, but I guess not. Definitely on some of the other worlds. Brittle Hollow is probably quite cold. <sighs> I like the fact that the Hollow's Lantern texture doesn't load properly is going to spoil the Hollow's, spoil that solution for a lot of players. They'll get up close and be like, I swear I saw it without any lava on it from further back. I'm just gonna get out my suit. Make the stars look nice. And um, I'll burb. Come back in a sec, hopefully we won't <laughs> run out of time this time. I actually just want to sit and watch it. It's just so beautiful. <sighs> this might be one of the best angles in the game, just because you see the way the ship's positioned, it looks like, um, Carl's house at the end of Up, on top of the cliff, plateau, and you see the beauty in the background.
This is definitely the thumbnail. <laughs> This is definitely the best thing we can do with our time. And you also, without moving, get a regular check it on how low the sand is. Oh, the way that moon comes into view, that's beautiful. Mm. Whoa, <laughs> that, that's amazing. See if you stop trying to think so hard about how to beat the game. Just sit and breathe. Enjoy the beauty of what we have left. That's the true beauty of this game, it's just like that reminder of, you know, make sure you, you stop and smell the pine trees along the way. We don't know how long we've got left. So if you have a moment like this, seize it. And just admire it. Maybe I should um do like a pure like multi hour stream of just doing this and then upload them individually to YouTube as like twenty minute wallpapers basically. <laughs> Views of the universe. Maybe I just do it sporadically throughout my playthrough. What I've got here, I could already clip this out separately. Although it's got me talking over it, which I feel like most people don't want to hear. They'd rather just have the peaceful background noise. I'd have to do a separate stream where I intentionally don't talk. Although, people would probably be disappointed that it's only 720p. <laughs> I'm 
I mean, I could try, if, if all I'm doing is coming to one planet and looking at the stars, I could do that in 1080p. And maybe I'll just record it separately. Maybe I'll just record these without streaming them because it's just maybe a bit more of a nuisance to stream it. I could just record a few of these clips and upload them separately as just an extra thing. Okay, I better think about getting the Astro now. Sand's getting real low. Let's just boost over there, eh? And we pretty successfully yeeted ourselves out of orbit last time without even trying, so should be able to do it this time. planet go? We're going kind of in the wrong direction. There she is. We're about to pass over Twin Towers, so I think we've got one more shot at it next loop. Next rotation, I should say. Oh, no, don't take me, don't take me. Of what I'm doing. I'm not taking out the core this time. I'm just going can chill in the black hole. Actually I'm curious. When the sand comes out, I'm gonna wait for like a couple of seconds to see if the black hole just triggers on its own. I wish you could zoom in slightly further. I thought you could zoom in further than that, but maybe not. Must have been that we were close to it last time. Oh, they didn't wait that long. 
because I could have waited longer. But I don't want to screw up my chance at doing this again. <laughs> Let's just trap myself in here. Oh man, gravity sucks in here. Hold on. Let's fix that. <laughs> he shoots. He shoots. He scores. Oh! I recalled it. So I still have the scout. <laughs> um, that was interesting how long that stayed open for. What a terrible fate this is. Trapped inside what is essentially like an oven. <laughs> and we're going to be cooked alive by a supernova. Here's an interesting question. If I don't warp with the scout, when we come back, does self have their scout? I don't remember if they normally have their scout on the ground. I feel like normally their scout is on the ground, is it? I don't know. I don't remember, actually. Wait to it fully being burned out by it. And truly deeply. Now, the me who wakes up isn't the me who sent the scan. The me who wakes up just received the memories. <laughs> But we will go and meet the me who sent the scout, who, who left the scout, I should say, 22 minutes in the future. Wait, that, this, none of this makes sense. If that me is theoretically 22 minutes from the future, shouldn't the scout also be there? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Time travel is very confusing. I feel like... The time travel in this game is more novel than realistic, so I don't know if I'm ever going to make sense out of it. <gasps> don't die. Don't do that again. Don't screw up again. Oh my god. Oh man. It's been lagging a little bit. So I guess Astron is swimming. Yeah, it must be. I feel like it's not worth waking the wallpapers unless I had the PS5 version of this game. Which I don't think will ever happen. PS5 is a little bit out of reach for me. And it's just like, this is literally the only game I think I would probably play on it. Maybe like Shadow of Mordor or Need for Speed or something like that. But like, most of the types of games that you get on PlayStation are not really games that I care that much for. I wonder if I zoom in on it. Oh, 
Oh, you can't. Hold on. What's the... There it is. Okay, so it does kind of grow its proper texture once you zoom in on it. There we go. You can even see the precise level of difference. That's so odd. What the... What is going on with that? It's like glitching out because it actually is losing lava. But it's like it doesn't know which texture to display. The version with lava or the version without lava. I don't know, it's like glitching when it sinks. When the, when the lava is lowered, I guess. Or oh, actually, it was being glitching because it was in front of the white hole, which has a bit of a curviness to it. I don't know if it didn't look any different. I don't really know what's going on there. Weird. Well, it's a bit of a combination of the two things, I think. Closer to someone else. Oh, yeah. And try and sync up with whoever's coming next and then change to just them. Oh no, we're going out of view. It's not as fun when we're out of view. No. We weren't getting closer to it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Pretty cool. And just get that buckle up thing out of the way. Do we trust autopilot in this scenario? <laughs> Look at that. You really undershot it, autopilot. I guess that's better than overshooting it. be looking quite far away from it. There. Come on! Oh, for f oh my God! So that graphic is not displaying properly, is it? Or does it normally only display with the weird things if you um are still alive when it happens? <sighs> I 
I um I really cursed myself, haven't I? I just get too fascinated by like these random little ideas that I have. I'm just like, what if I did this instead?
going to pick it up now. I think uh, that was fun. Either if you are watching the pure, delightful space, or if you were watching something else. I was just watching Jess Capricorn. She's pretty much, not pretty much finished, but getting close to the end of the game. And, um, why is my buttons not, oh, I can't autopilot them too close. Um, yeah, because when I started the stream about two hours ago, she was really struggling with figuring out how to get to the vessel. And when I joined in just then, she was at the vessel, um, which was quite interesting. Don't go yet, need my suit. Um, yeah, but she's about to end the stream, I think. After 32 hours, what of what she slipped about six of them. But that's still pretty impressive, and she's the only things left to nail uh, the sixth location. I think Ashton Project in the coordinates. So, hopefully, I get to see some of that tomorrow. If she continues it tomorrow. I'm going to wait for a full like four seconds. One, two, three, four. No. Alright, the game's not buggy. Well, <laughs> not with the black hole anyway. Alright, 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 alright. Let's not screw ourselves over. Whoops. What's the zoom button again? Ah, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There it is. <laughs> so fascinating. The, the different kind of visuals you can get in this game. Just by screwing around. I'm just gonna hold it down there. Ooh. 
<laughs> I would love to hear like a angelic like choir like doing a rendition of this song would be so creepy <laughs> Coming for you next time. Core. So, can you hear me now? <laughs> oh wow, instant, instant, instant teleport. Um, <laughs> um, great. I'm doing a hypothesis. This is the hypothesis, is that it is possible to avoid breaking space-time if you're in the dream world and your body is dead, is my hypothesis. So I've just duplicated myself, now I have to go grab the core and then go to the stranger. I've, tr I've tried doing this like four times already and I keep getting distracted doing something stupid and killing myself. <laughs> so this is the... Second time I've actually duplicated myself. No, third time. I've already broken space time twice before and died a couple times before that, before even duplicating. So I'm kind of silly. But that's why last loop I was just like, I'm going to calm down. I'm just going to sit myself down. Next, look at the stars and I'll watch Jess play. <laughs> yeah, so if you duplicate yourself and you don't jump in, I'll, I'll chat with myself. Um, and we'll talk about it, but um, I'm gonna wait a little bit for sand. So this, okay, I'm trying to get too close. What I did last time was I was just trying to look at the, look at the stars from here. I've been trying to find positions in which I can look at the stars and stuff with as little user interface interrupting the view as possible. But this buckle, buckle up, it's hard to get rid of. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, if you jump... Yeah, she's really loving it. She's really enjoying it. Which is good. Which is good that she's taking a break. Because she was getting just a little bit, like, demotivated, I think. Um, because she was kind of struggling with the last... The last couple of hours, I think she was struggling with just, like, not knowing what to do. So, it's, it's always good to... It's, it's a good, good game to take breaks from. As much as I love just playing it non-stop. <laughs> and that would be fun. You do need to have some breaks. Um... Yeah, so if you duplicate yourself and you don't complete the loop by jumping back into the black hole, then there's theoretically not... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Except the graphics not working properly. It should have, like, a glass-smashing look to it. God, this is what I mean. I keep screwing around and distracting myself. I deserve, I deserve the full kazoo for that. <laughs> Third time I've done that. Well, not exactly that, but a version of that. Uh, I called it testing the limits of Outer Wilds, but it's really testing the limits of <laughs> my attention span. Oh, what happened was I wasn't paying attention to where I was. I didn't put myself in a good enough position. Tamath came around and its gravity just brought me back down to the, I said about down to earth, back down to hearth. And because I wasn't buckled in, I just got 
kind of thrown around in the cockpit there. So I did. <sighs> what the hell was that? Did, did someone just speak? Right at the end of the credits. I haven't heard that before. Okay, I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna stand on top of the ship launch thing and then leave it for like five minutes. Well, I just need a burb, so I'll leave it for a few minutes and then come back and then, I don't know. I'm just tired of dozing off. I dozed off a few times for like 15 minutes and I'm just like, it's kind of boring. Even though you're only actually dozing for like three minutes. All right, I'll come back in a few minutes. Whoops, that's not the one. That's the one. Gami, would you rather I do something interesting or just sit here and watch the stars for 10 minutes?
I just feel like I'm losing the energy to you. <laughs> the thing is, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do crazy stuff that's not too crazy so that I don't kill myself, and then I just keep killing myself. And then I'm not able to do the tests that I'm trying to do. How's what went? You know, didn't want me to do something crazy. I'll um take my pants off and uh, dunk a bucket of water on my head. Um, but I'll have the microphone and camera turned off for that. In fact, I've already done it. You, I, I did it just a couple minutes ago. You went, you went, you couldn't see it or hear it. That was pretty crazy. There's nothing I can think of doing that's crazy in this game that's not going to risk killing myself. I even tried pod racing on Ember before, which was quite fun. Guess how that ended. <laughs> I suffocated, I think, in the end. Or maybe, actually no, I'm trying to remember. I managed to make it back, because I got trapped out of fuel and I couldn't get back back up to Chert. And then I managed to like somehow get back up. Um, and I don't remember what happened after that, actually. What could be fun is trying to attempt to get inside Astron without my suit. <laughs> but I'm most likely going to die trying. And also, if I do that, then... Can you... I guess you can jump. <laughs> well, I don't remember what I exactly wrote in my letterbox review but um the first like 40 minutes of that film is amazing and then the movie starts and you're like oh my god and it's just like i don't know it's um i think i wasn't as maybe flawed by the film overall as, as maybe you were um it was definitely entertaining and I definitely mostly held my attention. I was watching it in the Hollywood theatre though, which is kind of one of the worst, most uncomfortable movie theatres I've ever been in. <laughs> um, it's called cool a place it as it is. They just don't have good seating arrangement. Um, yeah, I, I'd say I probably was close to dozing a couple times. But it was still a very, very interesting story. You got a higher rating than you. Oh, okay. I gave it four stars, didn't I? <laughs> Do I have a signal scope? I do have a signal scope. <whistles> oh god, sorry. Embarrassing. That was bad. How many stars do you give out of wilds? One, two, three. Oh, I've lost my control. Oh, I've gone up as much as I can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> I'd love to know how many stars there actually are.
Whoa. Caught one. it for quite a while what I've wondered about this game is like so much of this game tries to be rooted in scientific accuracy which would imply that well assuming that the speed of light in this universe is the same as it is in our own that and and that stars are these stars are reasonably far away that because they all seem to be going out at the same time and we are seeing them all at the same time even though they're obviously very distant and very different distances apart like that one's very close actually unless that's the white hole station that might be the white hole i don't know you could see the white hole in daylight i guess you can um does that mean that this solar system is like right at the center of the universe? Or at least the center of this galaxy? No, you can see stars further than beyond the galaxy. Oh no, it faded out. What the hell? What, what was that? If it was a white hole station, it, would have, it wouldn't have faded away. What the heck, what the heck was that? No, it's that? I don't know, I'm confused. There's two big ones like that. Where the other way? Let's be careful. Um, well, of course it is. I've had studies done on it and everything. Um, what was I saying? This solar system's at the center of the universe because it just so happens to see all of these stars die at the same time. I understand why Chirp enjoys looking at the stars. It is quite a beautiful thing. I've somehow managed to sync my movement perfectly. Oh no, I'm gonna lose it. Lose them over the horizon. Those ones are fun to watch. There's more. There's more big ones. I want to see one of the big ones exploding. I mean, I guess it looks the same as, as any of them. I think it's just one. It's just one drum, isn't it? They're a bit of a percussionist, because there's like a like a shaker or something going on as well. Yes. Oops. I guess I'll put my camera back on now that I'm actually doing something. 
And I heard the chat off that whole time as well. <laughs> um, oh, hold on. There it is. Now I'm going to be smart and not unbuckle as much as I'm tempted to. But you know what would be cool? Saying screw the ship. I don't need you. This is relatively crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy, but it's... Definitely most players wouldn't <laughs> think to do something like this. Most players are so, like, um, careful about what they do with their ship. I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. The ship is the least interesting part of this game to me. But some players can't live without it. Oh, don't crash and die. <laughs> oh my god. I actually have cursed myself with this hypothesis. <laughs> I own I know, I don't oh god. Oh I don't know I just don't know how to sit still, you know? I can't just sit still and not do something out of the ordinary, just slightly out of the ordinary. Ugh. <laughs> because it's fun. <laughs> because I thought it was a more interesting way of getting there. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna go there without my ship at all. And I'm not, I'm not gonna stop until I succeed in that mission. And then once I actually succeed, I'll focus on the rest of the hypothesis. I think that will help me just get out the itch I have to do something different. We need some strength if we're going to do this. Hey, you told me to do something stupid, do something crazy or, or whatever. I feel like as much shipless practice as I get before I actually do a full shipless run will be helpful. Just to show you how serious I am. Did the cockpit fall in there? Oh no, that's not the the big one. Okay. I would like some more marshmallows now. Actually, I could just go to my ship and heal up still. Oh, this is more fun. I honestly think hurtling into the sun is not nearly as risky as what I just did. Like, it's more likely that I'll just crash into the planet. <sighs> Beauty. One of my deaths today, by the way, was getting crushed by this elevator again. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm just used to it now. I mean, I definitely notice it dropping frames a little bit, but um, it, seems, it still seems pretty playable for me, for my needs, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, oh come on, come on bro, that was, that was terrible, that was just awful. Ok, 
Okay. Counted. Oh, you know why? Because I started counting from there. Stop shooting. That doesn't work at all. I thought you'd get more of a boost when you do that, but it kind of doesn't really boost you unless you've spent some time underneath it. The biggest worry for me is going to be running out of fuel, actually. Nice and distant from that, from the planet. Honestly, look how close I am. Look how close I am. First try. <laughs> Only half my fuel is gone. Now I'm afraid I'm going to run out of oxygen. I should probably go meet Chirp, to be honest. What the hell was happening over there at Giant's Deep? That was weird. Okay, come on. Match, 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 match. Come on. Oh. To be honest, the sand will help us get there anyway. It just might hurt us a bit along the way. Okay, to the north. Coming in quite smoothly this time, I think. Oh, oh no, oh no. That was close. We made it, we made it. No flinging into the sun. Yeah, look at that. One drum and the stick. I know where the extra shaking sounds coming from. I can hear the drum and the clack clack, but I don't know how they're making the um like. Shaky shake sound. <laughs> Ye of little faith. <laughs> Alright. We still got quite a bit of time. I can't turn off the ship UI. <laughs> but, um. I mean the suit UI. I'll just look at the stars. I really wish you could use this telescope. <laughs> Let's investigate that hypothesis, shall we? I mean, there's. Oh no, I think it's binoculars. They're either binoculars or pepper shakers on the side there. <laughs> Maybe 
Maybe they're not binoculars, because they don't have lenses. They might be pepper shakers. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. I've got three fingers. Do we only have three fingers as well? I can't tell. Oh, six fingers. It almost looks like the beating is in sync, but it's not quite, is it? can I do without leaving this planet other than pod racing which I've tried and was reasonably successful at but I played it a bit too risky and I lost all my oxygen I really wish honestly I wish just for the sake of giving people an excuse to play the game again even if they don't really have much to do I think I talked to you about this before, but I reckon that would be cool if there was just a small DLC. Maybe it doesn't even have, maybe it just costs like $10. And it's called like the Traveler's DLC. And what it does is it allows all the buildings in the village to be explored. So there might be just some Easter, interesting Easter eggs in there. And you'll be able to go to the homes of all of the Outer Wilds adventurers and find keys to their ship. So I could find Chert's key, and then I could come here, and I could, assuming the ships have keys, but, you know. Or maybe it's like, individual launch codes for each ship. Maybe that, that would make sense, because given that launch code's already a thing. Um, so you find the, sh the codes for this ship, and you come here, and you can open it, and you get inside, just for the sake of having something else to do. And in addition to that, there'll be... A way to pilot the like you the flying saucers that the strangers have in their like hangar, and then maybe if you just travel far out into the distance with not with a Harthian ship but with a stranger's UFO, you might be able to like come across another solar system or something. They could, they could just hide an entire another game way in the distance without giving you any clues about it or something I don't know like I'm sure they'd have to give you some clues if they were actually going to do that but that would be fun like imagining like you know you have all the knowledge that you have already and you can actually go to another solar system and tell them that they're about to die I guess there's not much else you can do but you can tell them but oh, oh, I don't know, because you can meet more people. Let's say they introduce like three other solar systems way out in the distance. You can meet more characters, and then you can go to the eye again, and there's more characters to add to the next universe. That would be cool. I mean, they must be working on something, right? They can't have been just working on a Switch port for two years. <laughs> Especially if this is a Switch port. <laughs> it's it's kind of taken two years. I'm sure that was like a side project. I'm sure they've got other stuff going on. 
but honestly, if they can find something interesting to add to Art of Wilds, I, you know, I'd love that. But a brand new game would also be interesting. It would be just something new, something else to feel like, you know, because that would be a good test to like be like, well, is Mobius just pure genius or was it just one amazing idea? You know? I mean, I guess the DLC proves that they're, they're more than just a one-trick pony, right? Because the DLC is kind of like its own game with brand new mechanics and puzzles and stuff. Yeah, true, true. Hiding a non-space game within a space game is a ball of move. That's interesting. You can kind of hear both harmonicas overlapping a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why am I out of oxygen? Oh, wait. I'm not next to chair, that's why. Ah. Okay, if I successfully dupe myself, I'm just going to doze off. Because it's just... Oh, wait, no, I don't have to doze off. Because I'm just going, well, I'll doze off for like three minutes. Um, what do I need fuel? Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have the sand. Oh, oh, no. All good. I'm good. Going too fast. Come in right in for the landing on the Ember Twin Tower. Nice, didn't even take damage, baby. I think that this game just starts running slow after I've been playing it for a few hours. Because, um... Like, it shouldn't be as laggy as this. Well, laggy is the wrong word. But, you know. can't deny. Oh, that was a cool little shadow to the last one. Maybe the reason I keep sabotaging myself is because I actually really don't want to go inside the dream world. <laughs> uh. 
Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, I was not paying attention. God damn it. Christ. Oh, I hope I have one more rotation. Yeah, I've definitely got one more rotation, I'd say. Do you reckon? Oh no, she's pretty red. No, this still keeps the sand there. I think I only got one more. Let's check back with shirt real quick. straight to the nook because I'm just gonna forget if I distract myself with anything else <laughs> <Good one. laughs> okay coming through soon Is it actually orbiting right now? No. It's just... That's it interesting. It's kind of caught between t two orbits. Oh, she's about to land back on Ember. too late. God damn it. <laughs> uh, when will I ever t <laughs> Okay. What can I do next time that is entertaining but safe? Guess I should use the ship now that I've proven I can get here without a ship. No easy, no, no, no trouble. Um, what is the. Oh, I see. It orbits on a different axis. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. Um. I'll just walk. I'll just literally walk around Ash Twin. Also, I noticed you can go inside the sun in this in this version of the game. It doesn't just go bright white. You can actually see it from the inside until it blows up.
That's weird. I didn't exit my map. It just kind of forced me out of it at the last second there. Bring your ship. Just bring your ship. Oh, I'll bring my ship all right. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> You know how they could do it. I'm thinking back to the Traveler's DLC idea that I had. They don't tell us that, like they basically say it's a DLC that's compatible whether you've got the existing DLC or not. So most people just figure out the Tim, the Tim Hearth stuff and the Hearthy and Ship stuff. It's only for those players that are extra curious that go inside and Maybe in one of the elk houses, you'll find some sort of code, but it's like, mm. I don't know how they could add a code. They have to add something that's actually all, always been there because the houses aren't locked. Something, if, they, if there's something that's always been there that they can kind of turn into a code or no, you wouldn't need the. I was gonna say, um, you require an artifact to use the UFOs, but that doesn't make sense because they invented the artifacts when they already got here. They didn't need the uh, need them before that. Okay, let's just align. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're extra curious, you'll end up finding something, and then. Once you've found that extra something, you go into the ship and it's got like uh, coordinate. It's like got auto navigate to go home, and you could fly back to their home planet, and you could see the devastation. <laughs> oh mate, don't you worry. I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna do it completely accurately and safely. Um, and then you end up going to their home planet and you maybe they hide something very interesting within their home planet or within the planet that their home planet orbits because they didn't really live on a moon I think lived on a moon and maybe you meet another species on that planet and then that species gives you another clue which gives you coordinates to go to another solar system and you go to another one and another one um yeah that'll be fun All right you say when gami i'm gonna keep flying back until you say when the outcome of this is entirely on you. This is the safest thing I can do with my ship outside the solar system, I just fly away from it. So... I can still get back in time, we've got so much time. I can be flying backwards for about 8 minutes, okay, before I have to decelerate and then accelerate back home. <laughs> what do you mean what I'm doing? I'm just wasting time before the end of the loop because I have to wait till the end of the loop to jump through the black hole.
that's interesting how the alignment is, seems to be struggling. Eight times. What's so special about eight times? Is that how you split your soul into seven pieces? No, that'd be nine pieces. You don't have to go through six times to split your soul into seven pieces. You're the one that wanted me to just focus on the on the job. If I try and go through the hole eight times, I'm gonna die trying. That's interesting how I can still hear Gabbro. Um, you can distinctly see Giant's tapes a bit further away than that. Okay, are we still aligning? No, we're going there. Okay, we're going pretty quick. I should, um... zoom away so fast. Now I've got to do some hard math to know when to decelerate. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I'm, why am I getting so far off course? That was pretty cool though, visually, <laughs> seeing that happen. <laughs> if I catch up to it, um, eventually, you know, I'm still, oh no, I am decelerating. Maybe this is a good thing. No, I'm too far away. I'm too far away. Shit. <laughs> I need to keep my speed up a little bit. Oh no. Oh wow. Why have I lost so much speed? Also, why is the ship... Oh, it's got... Somehow I'm on a different flight trajectory and I don't know why. Why the hell is that so far off course? Come on. Get back in there. Yes, I'm accelerating again. Okay, good. Just you wait, Gummy. Come on, get back on course, man. No, oh, that way. Is it down or up? It's not down. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run out of fuel. Um. I can't use more than half my fuel because I want to have I want to be able to decelerate as well, but I'm somehow going way off track. That's really bugging me. Mm. Not much I can do about that. Oh, I needed to match velocity with my ship. I'm slowing down. I don't know if it's at the right rate, but um, and well, I'm clearly misaligned. I'm not going to get to Ash Twin like this, but I might get close to another planet or the sun. We'll see. While we wait. Hmm, 
some reason that's how I'm accelerating again. I don't know why I'm going between accelerating and decelerating. And my trajectory is less off now. What was that sound? What was that? I'm confused. Um, we'll do some quick math. How long does it take to travel 400 kilometers at 16 at, at 1.6 kilometers per second? Roughly on average. That's easy. You go 400 divided by 1.6. It takes 250 seconds. It's only four minutes. Ah, oh, I've got three minutes of oxygen. <laughs> Okay, you're right. I'm going to suffocate before I get there. But if I had more oxygen, I would make it back. Although I am decelerating again. Which is good, because obviously I'm going to come in too fast if I don't. But, yeah, without any oxygen. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> hey, you, you told me when to, when, to, when to change course. That was on you. I just didn't tell you what my plan was. <laughs> I wonder where my ship is. Surely my ship's at Ashton by now, right? Where's my ship? It should have been here, right? I don't know how to know where the ship is supposed to be. It won't... Yeah, it won't help show me on the map where it is. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm gonna suffocate. That's fine. Everyone has to suffocate eventually. <laughs> oh, you know what? Ejecting would have been a lot smarter. That way, at least I keep the trajectory of the ship. And then I can slow myself down once I get closer. Maybe I'll do that next time. Thanks for the idea, Gabby. <laughs> Alright, I won't go as far this time. Last time I probably went like, what, 900k's or something. Let's just hit 500 and then... Yeah, I mean, how do you break your tailbone other than by impact? Because I believe I have broken it before by falling out of a tree. <laughs> um... Maybe it's always just a little bit broken still. I don't know, because it's meant to like heal back, right? Maybe my dad like actually took me to the doctor or something. And then he was just like, yep, it'll heal by itself. But uh, you're going to just have to be sore for a while. You can't do anything about it. Okay, doc. <laughs> okay, interesting. Whoops. Yeah, don't you dare autopilot. Don't you dare. Whoops. No. Here we go. Now I'm aligned with that. Because the landing camera automatically aligns with that. And then I'll just do this. Oh, but then I won't be able to check towards it. Save that method for another time. Hmm. <sighs> Wait, no, don't accelerate. Shit. This way, go backwards. Go backwards for about 150 k's. I'm 
maybe I'll just go to 250 because then the time it takes to decelerate I'll reach 500 k's out that should be fine that's plenty distant It's really hard to get the like, whatever it's called, the thing that's in the center of the screen, the little circle, the dot I mean, <coughs> it's quite hard to get it like in the center of where you're aiming for, so if I don't do that then my ship's going to go off course when I jerk that. Pretty much bang on center. It's going to be really hard to slow myself slow myself down if I'm going like faster than a thousand meters per second. Probably faster than 500 meters per second. It's going to be hard to slow myself down. Oh. Actually, but I was naturally slowing down last time, so maybe I... <laughs> I'll wait until I'm 250k's out, and then I'll eject. We'll see what madness it... I don't know, we're testing if it's possible to begin the autopilot. So I'm, I'm headed directly towards it. I'm now going very fast. Actually, I should eject at 300, because I'm getting... I'm, it's going to take ages to slow down. I am slowing down already. I'm decelerating already. Um, I wonder where the ship is. Can I see it? Or is it too far? Oh, it's way over there somewhere. It's not actually that far. It's not moving further away, is it? Um, oh, now I've lost. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 
it's actually showing me on the map. That's unusual. I guess I'm not far enough out that it... I don't know. So line back to Ashwin. Oh, crab apples. Okay. So, oh yeah, we're getting close. Oh shit. Oh shit, we are close. Close but no cigar, we, I should say. We are badly misaligned. Damn, so the eject didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Oh god, well now there's no hope. Now there's no hope. No hope at all. I don't know. I thought it would be fun. I um clearly I need to go way less far out. Let's go 50k's out. No, that's not far at all. Let's go 100k's out. I don't know. I just want to know if it's possible to be going basically at the speed of the ship and slow yourself down without, you know, after getting out of the ship. You seen poor things, Kami? I was thinking of going this weekend. Oh really? I've heard pretty poor things. <laughs> uh, I heard it's uh, one of Willem Dafoe's new favourite movies. He's only a little biased. This is a good idea. Autopilot from the probe. <laughs> we know it. Okay. Am I going towards it or not? I can't tell. It seems like it's not coming closer. Nope. Piss off. Yes, we're aligned with it, I think. I just need to inch my way towards it. Without getting too crazy. Now it just looks like a little purple star. Getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Slow and steady fires into the eye of the universe. It's kind of funny how like the Nomai didn't have like thrusting technology. They only had like gravity cannons. Although they they must have had sort of some sort of jetpacks of their own. But, um, I don't even need, oh, piss off. I was going to say, I don't even need to align with it. I nailed it. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Gotcha. Okay, I'll just match with that. Beautiful. Oh, that's so annoying. Every time you unlock it, it just automatically bloody autopilots to the sun. Should wait here until the sun blows up, then then I can unlock it without it. <laughs> Okay. I really wish there was something to find here as well. Like just some some kind of interesting Easter egg, like inside the probe or something. Um, and I haven't. <laughs> as in I haven't watched them yet. I can't even think what he has. He's got um the favourite, right? What else is there that I need to watch? Let's lock on to Ash Twin. That's interesting. It's like showing where I am. I must not be far enough away that it's a big deal how far away I am. I don't know. Hello, Ash. Caught any Pokemon yet? Gotta fill that Pokedex, you know. Do you think Poor Things would be a good first film or a bad first film? Sacred Deer and Lobster. I've, I've got all of these on iTunes, I think. Maybe I don't have the favour. But, um, oh wait, can I see the interloper? No, that's just the another side of this. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm about 100 k's away from Astro now, which is how far I said I should go out, so I should probably... I just love being here, it's very cool. Whoops, I just started matching velocity with Astro. Not yet, not yet. Okay. Feldspar would be proud. Bye bye. That's satisfying to watch. To infinity and beyond. Or nine million and beyond. Alrighty. Oh, we're already accelerating. This is good news. I'm gonna have to hop out pretty quick actually. I reckon this is the one. I reckon we're not going to screw this one up. <laughs> nah, we definitely are. But hey, it was fun trying. When do you reckon? 50k's would be almost too close. That's about the extent of the solar system, but I'm going pretty quick. Oh, I should have gone 69. Already, we're already requiring retro rockets. Okay. Well then, I definitely want to get out of here. Oh, I'm too close, man. I'm way too close. Look at that go. Oh, man. Honestly, this is salvageable. No, it's not. I'm going so fast. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Look, all that matters is that I'm having a good time. Who cares if I test the hypothesis, right? <laughs> okay, let's unlock. Let's just let's just observe. Okay, so 100k's was too far out. 
50k is going to be so close, it's just going to be boring. You know? What if I do it from Old Spacey? I'll just fly to Old Spacey. That's probably about 50k's out or maybe even less. It's only 16 k's away, I mean, yeah. Maybe I just eject from here, maybe I don't even accelerate toward Ash 21st. Alright. I'm not going to be going fast enough if I don't accelerate at all though. Oh actually I don't want to, I don't want to damage all the spaces and I'm going to lose my map. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm wondering now, one of my hypotheses was can you it's not even a hypothesis, it's really just a, I want to try it. Oh, I don't think I can shoot the log with the scout, but one of them was just like, can I push the log into the sun? Now I'm trying to do it with the scout, but I don't think you can. Nah. That's because using the scout makes you travel backwards. I didn't actually hit them. Nah, it seems to go through. But I can hit it myself, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I could get it into my ship. Right. Oh no, I've pushed it the wrong way now. Oh. Oh no, it's ages away now. Can I, I wonder if it will even go in my ship. Will it be affected by the gravity things? Shit, shit, shit. It's so cool that you have a match velocity with this. Okay. What do you mean? Hacking? For what? Some of my hypotheses or just like what I'm doing literally right now? You think I'm hacking? Um, that 
I mean, if I hadn't... Dev mode for what, though? To do what? I shouldn't have... Yeah, this is... Okay, I'll try that again another time. For now, I'm going to focus on one thing at a time. Because I can't do it from there. Um... The whole point of this is to test the limits of, of the game. No, I reckon that's possible. Well, in theory it should be possible. That's the, that's the point, is I'm finding out what the limits of the actual game are. I don't want to just cheat, you know? Alright. No, can't wait. There we are. Only 27k's out. That's boring. But oh, whatever, we'll do it from here. We'll play it safe, shall we? As soon as we start decelerating, we're gone. We're already going too fast to do that now. I don't know why I keep trying this. Anything over 500 meters per second. Ooh, actually. Nah. 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 I keep getting fooled by the fact that obviously it just moves past me. That's why it looks like I'm decelerating, but I'm not really. This is actually salvageable if I had more fuel. I don't really know. Okay, let's do it again. I'll prove you. Oh. No, screw it. In the middle of this, I'm gonna I'm gonna add this hypothesis. Um, okay. Two different ones. Possible to inside the ship. What are your predictions for these, Kami? Speaking of Gabro, I'm going to use one of their great life lessons. <sighs> if you really fall into it, it actually makes you kind of tired just doing that. You think you're going to break. I mean for the old spacey ones. Unless you think that's somehow going to break space-time. Me breaking space-time is inevitable, whether that is testing this or not. I'm, I'm going to do it at some point. Again. That's a big moon. I didn't blink. Because you don't blink after meditating. You reckon? Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
I just feel like it's not something that's programmed into the game for it to be able to happen. But oh, then again, can other objects enter your ship? Like obviously your scout can. But what about like... No, there's nothing else small enough that's like a naturally occurring thing. It's the only thing I can think of that's that you can mani manipulate in space that is small enough to push into it. Like if you left a stone tablet on the on the ground and then landed your ship on it and then opened the hatch, I don't think it's gonna get sucked up. But because the log's already in space. It's not like it's being gravity pulled down by gravity. But if this does work, then I'm definitely going to test the theory on trying it on the surface. should make a um, brittle hollow map for the next game that's what that's what the next Mario Kart should be a bunch of different maps from different games whether they're Nintendo games or not although I also had the thought the other day that um, they should do like worlds like have like say like eight worlds that each have four tracks in them that kind of intersect and so like because I really me I remember like playing Need for Speed and feeling like it's very novel that um you can sometimes like see the roads that you would go past on a different route because you're in the same city obviously whereas in Mario Kart like every track is a different world completely but if they um had someone cross over in the same world I think it'd be quite fun and also just make it like slightly m more like the um if they had like something more similar to the career mode in CTR where you actually kind of have a bit of free roam before doing the races but I feel like I'm I've got I'm melding too many different ideas now together all right Damn it. Oh. Nah. 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 <laughs> it's too far. It's gone too much upwards. Um, let's try and lock onto it with the ship. Can I? Weirdest thing to ever lock onto with your ship. Oh, this is pretty much what it looks like when you find, um, what's her face's thing? Solonim's mask at the end kind of looks like that. Where is it? Oh, so close. We're so close. I'm just gonna nudge it really gently. I mean, it's pretty much definitely possible to fly it into the sun now that we know we can move it. It's just whether or not we have the patience and skill for that. <laughs> oh, I keep knocking it upwards. Oh, stay down. It collided with the ship. That's a good sign. Hey, 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 welcome to the chat. Did 
the stream disconnect or was it just the chat? Because that happens all the time, but it doesn't always disconnect the stream. It's very confusing. Come on, come on. <gasps> nah. Nah. I mean, I could probably force it inside, but... I guess more specifically my test was trying to test if it gets sucked up by this gravity thing, which it doesn't. But, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That's right there. It's right there. <sighs> okay, well, is it possible to get it inside anyway? And then what happens when it's inside? Does it keep floating? Or does it adhere to gravity? What happened to it? Damn it. This is hard. <laughs> this is difficult. Oh, it's it's flying away from the ship now. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, I've gone the other way now. Too hard. This is one of the more fun things I've done in this game. Let's see. Ugh. Where is it? Why does it look like it's invisible? How did I get it that far away? What on earth? What? What is happening? I should be matched to it. It should be... Where? Why can't I see it? This is difficult, man. I don't know. I don't even know where it is now. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to go back to the ship and figure this out. Why is it, how can I be matched with it and it's flying that far away from me? What have I done to it? I'm so confused. How can it be suddenly a hundred meters away? What is, has it turned quantum or some shit? Now it's not moving. Okay. Match, 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 match. No, no, no. I matched velocity. This is not fair. I don't know what's happened. So confused. Do you reckon I meditate and try again, or I just go to Ash Twin? To 
is this screwing with me? How can it be accelerating? Unless I've accidentally... I've, have I turned it invisible and then I'm like smashing into it accidentally or something? You do you. Yeah. That. <laughs> this is whack. Yeah, I'm sick of you. I'm going to Ashton. Nice. What are you going to watch? I'm sorry if you wanted to see the results of the um, stranger thing. You know what? If you're going to stick around for the next 20 minutes, I'll definitely do it. In fact, it won't even take 20 minutes. It'll only take like 10 minutes if I do it properly and I just doze off. <sighs> Is it a new movie or in... Oh no, you're going through alphabetically, that's right. <laughs> but if I die once, you have permission, you have my permission to leave. Oh, what? Okay, that's fine. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Um, wow, that is lagging his balls off. Okay, well, now I'm less certain I can do it in. Uh, I'll be fine. I just need to not die trying to get back to Ashtwind. All good. See you in a min. One, two, one, three. Huh. Why is it lagging so hard just when I'm like, I'm like I'm sure my ship's got dead, but it's it's not like I'm simulating more planets Heck. okay um, this does it for like three minutes how's Ashton looking okay let's do it Oh my god. Oh. Actually, did that remarkably well. <laughs> Just to get punctured by you. Play. Watch him pull it. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> no more screwing this up. <laughs> We're just gonna crash the game going to the stranger just because it kind of. I feel like we're not. I feel like I'm just working the switch too hard. I think four hours is, is, is the limit for it. Just. Yeah, get, get out of there. 
Oh my god. It's like on the corner moon. It's creating a flash when... Why is this... Wh what causes this? Like... On the corner moon I thought it was because something to do with the fact that we don't really know the correct position of the scout relative to us, but... We know exactly where the scout is. Why the hell would it be causing a flash like that? That's so strange. Oh my god. Can I have a little uh, rave party in here before the supernova? Speaking of how far away are we? Close. Interlope is almost crashing in now. I mean, keep it lit up more often than it's dark. <laughs> I'm going to break your controller doing that. So interesting. Alright, there's... I definitely have found a bug. That one's a well and truly a switch bug, because there's no way... I've never seen anyone encounter that. It looks so freaky. It's like you can see like... Oh. Oh, it warped. <laughs> of course. So interesting. So very, very interesting. Well, I don't want you here, Scout. Get away from me. I want no option of escape. Which I guess to do that I have to retrieve the scout. There we go. Now I'm trapped. What happens? Oh, 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 oh. I actually want to test something. What happens if I close this? And then... Oh, hey, Gum. Did you see the rave party we were having? What happens if I close this and leave the scout on it? Does the scout move with it, or does it glitch out? Um, basically, you remember when I was on the corner moon, and I shot the scout outside the corner moon, and then when it when I clicked the camera button, it like had this wet flash effect. Same thing just happened when I shot my scout outside through the warp. It was like flashing. It was like lighting up the entire inside of this room with like flashing. It was really interesting and really weird and kind of freaky, but um. Definitely a bug. Definitely not intended. You can't even blame quantum mechanics this time. Yeah, the scout moves with it. Interesting. Oh, you can see some of the flashing. No, not really. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do it all for about three minutes. I'm going to nail it first time. No fucking around this time. <laughs> and, that, and that's how you know I'm serious. <laughs> it's just so tempting to do something stupid. 
<laughs> but for you, because I, I, I feel like you're interested, you're, you're invested in this hypothesis now. <laughs> and honestly, after this, I might just call it because I'm getting pretty tired. And I want to be up in the morning because I think Adidas will be back on with Outer Wilds tomorrow. Slate must wonder what the heck I was doing just like standing there asleep for three minutes. Alright. Well, she's basically about to start the DLC because she found everything last stream. She just didn't know what to do last. Uh, if you know what I mean. Um, um, but yeah, I think she's basically going to click to her thoughts. She might try and think about what was missing again, or she might just jump straight into DLC and see if anything else comes to her mind while she does that and then but I reckon she's in a pretty good position to do the DLC now that she's had like a couple of weeks off and and then like have the full proper true ending with without having to do it twice although doing it twice can can still be a, obviously a good way of doing it but I think it's just an interesting a different experience when you do it for the first time after doing DLC. A lot of a lot of game a lot of players will swear by that being the way that you must play the game. Which I say like it's a good way to do it, but like obviously uh, my my advice is just do whatever you're most curious about. If you get to the stranger and you're like I don't know, I, I think I wanna go to the eye now, then just go. Don't wait for any other bullshit you know Ooh. Hello. What the heck? That's rendering the scout launcher really oddly. When I have it pointed up, it doesn't look like I'm even holding it. <laughs> oh, you can see like little dust prints. Maybe that was. I don't know what that was. What? What are you looking at right now? Oh, weird. How weird. You can see your own footprints. <laughs> or the soles of your feet. From underneath the, the warp. I wonder if the scout gets warps when it's... Nah. Will it trigger it though? It, is it close enough to the pad? Nah. Oh well. I should have photographed myself and the thing. Okay. 
I'm all screwing my balls, man. So I don't think they normally have the scout here anyway. I don't think, because that's what's odd. Like, the scout launcher isn't even here. What do you think happens if I don't? Why is he putting? Why are they, why are they putting it on me? Why don't? Why am I the one that has to jump the black hole? Why don't they do it? That would create a paradox as well, I guess, because they would be the one putting themselves in an eternal loop. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the stranger. I'm sorry. Sorry, I forgot. I, I wanted to talk to them just to get you, show you that question that they ask about and what happens when you don't go in the thing. Don't go back in the black hole at the end. Get in there, Garmin. Mean, get in there. Oh shit, where's my ship? Oh! Is this the loop where my ship was destroyed. <gasps> no, because otherwise it wouldn't show my ship on the map, so it's, it must be fine. I just don't remember what I did with my ship. Did I just land it on Ashwin, like a normal person? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Let's go! Whoop! -oh. Here comes the dreaded music. Now I have to remember how to get to one of the fires. It doesn't really matter which fire I go to. So I guess the easiest one to get to, well actually I know how to get to all of them, but I don't want to go to the one that gets drowned out. So the easiest one's probably just to go to like the, the one where the prisoner is. Shit, where's my scout? I mean ship. Ship, where's my ship? Ship, where's my ship? Ship, where's my ship? Where is my ship? If I could just like calm the hell down and just go back. I don't know how I flung myself so far out just then. Ah, oh, now the pressure. Now I'm feeling the pressure. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Right. So normally the ending is whether I die by supernova or even escape the supernova normally I would break space time because I haven't gone into the black hole in fact it's like as soon as the um, black hole opens up and you don't go in it within like three seconds or something um, oh shit hold on I need to mark it uh, you break space time so yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even need a room remote open why did that automatically open Why can't I autopilot there? I have to manually fly there? What? what the heck? I wasn't anticipating this. Oh, I just, there we go. I wasn't close enough to walk onto it. <sighs> now this is assuming I don't die just trying to get in because the gravity is so screwy at the like entrance where the fan, solar panels is. Retrieve my scout so I'm not simulating Ashton. Because <laughs> that's going to screw with my frame rate. Okay, 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 okay. Which side are we on? I guess it isn't. Oh shit, no. We have to go through the laboratory entrance. 
because the floods probably already happened, right? Okay, I think it's five o'clock from here. If if you look, what's oh shit? Okay, I'm gonna get out of the ship because I'm gonna freaking kill myself from inside here. Um. Okay. Five o'clock is here, right? My memory is that it's five o'clock. But um I could be wrong there. Yeah. Why don't I see anything? God I actually hate the stranger. Like there are literally lights on the outside of it and I can't see shit. Hold on, hold on one sec. God, that doesn't help at all. That doesn't help at all. Isn't it right here? What is this light? Oh dear, oh my god, it's just not rendering because I'm too f too Damn it, it's not this one. Okay, okay. Well now we've just gotta slowly check them all out. Now that we're close enough for it to be rendered. Oh wait, no, it is that one. It is that one. The hole is just so small, it just doesn't render unless we're really close to it. Shit, and now I literally cannot see. Oh, freaking Christ. What? This is so unnecessarily stressful. Why is it this dark? I guess they don't want you to accidentally discover this, I guess. But, fuck it. My shit, my headlights weren't even on. I thought they were. There. There. This is not it? Shit. I wish I could turn the solar panels off. Because they're just screwing my ability to see literally anything. Okay, I just have to follow this solar thing until I see it. getting fooled by the rendering distance being so shit. I can't see, I can't tell, I can't tell. It's too far away, I can't fucking tell. Oh my god, the music just adds so much to the stress. <laughs> okay, I just gotta wait for it to come to the light because of the goddamn solar window, solar things. Is it this one? Going. Keep going. Another one. Another one. Oh my god, this is painful. Should have done my should have done my bloody research before I came here. That's that's it, that's it. No, it's not. It's not. That's not it. Is it? No. Shit. Oh, this is intolerable. This is actually so stupid. How? I, I don't even remember how you're supposed to do this. No, because it's blocked off by the bloody dam. You can't get through anymore. I'm too late. Maybe I'm too late now. Maybe I wouldn't have been too late. I just assumed I was too late. Oh, this is so... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll just double check. Maybe, maybe we're lucky. Maybe the dam actually hasn't broken. Because I cannot get in that way. Shit. Shit. Now the lighthouse doesn't work because it's um, it falls over at the end of your drown. You have to go to either the the one where the prisoner is, or the one in the cliffs. <sighs> okay. Are we going to be lucky, or are we... No, it's closed. 
my life is over. I'm sorry, Gami, you don't get to see the results, because I absolutely cannot do it. Not on the slope. I need to do it again. I think if I go straight away and I don't piss around, I will be able to get in time to get in the main entrance. Oh, I ran out of goddamn oxygen. Oh, fuck! I forgot about the elevator. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I feel like a bloody idiot now. Oh, God. Well, feel, I hope you enjoy your movie. I'm going to try it again straight away, but um, <laughs> I guess you can catch up in the VOD. I don't know. What's taking so long? It's not waking up. I think the Switch genuinely cannot handle me playing this game for more than about three hours before it starts to slow down and then at four hours it's just very laggy and slow to load. I think I'm actually just overworking the switch. <sighs> Which is even more disappointing. <laughs> oh you're still here, hey. Yeah, I mean, oh, thank you. It's not that, um, it's not like I wanted to be stupid and thought it would be more fun to use not the ship. It's that I literally cannot navigate that area with the ship because the gravity of, like, the solar panel things just screws with you and you get knocked in and around. It's just so annoying to navigate that. I thought it wouldn't be that hard to find the thing without my ship. <sighs> Do I have to just kill the app? I just might kill it. I might. Oh, thank you. Did you only think of the elevator at the end, or did you know the whole time? And you were just laughing at me. I don't know how many captures I've got. I've only got two out of wilds captures. That's, that's one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. On the scat. It's quite cool. Yeah, fair enough. Um, right. I mean, if you still want to hang out, I'll try it once more. Um, <laughs> if it bloody loads. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know, but last time I did do a five hour stream of this and I don't remember having that terrible issues until the end when I, I went to the stranger at the very end of that, at that, of that stream and it really, really struggled. Um, you know, it's interesting. All right. Well, I'll try. I'll try. I'm going to try actually legitimately try. Um, and I, I was trying last time. I was not. Whoops! Oh, that was a mistake. Um. Um. What was I saying? I was just gonna say the Mobius logo there. It's interesting that it's got the um. Wait. Um. It's interesting that it's got. Did I have it on more than that once before? Yeah. Um. It's got the ring planet on the O, whereas there was never a ring planet in Outer Wilds until the DLC, when they added the the Strangers Homeworlds main planet that they orbit. It's interesting, isn't it? Unless there was a space related game prior to this game that had a... a, a oh, it feels smoother already just from relaunching. I wonder if it's RAM related. I don't know if the way the game, yeah, it was so much smoother now. Um, like it's the game like has a certain amount of the planets, um, not simulating, but like the you know loaded textures and things in the RAM, and then the RAM gets filled up with all these planets textures that it doesn't need, um, and it slows the game down maybe. Like, it's not optimized to 
delete things from the RAM that it no longer needs. I don't know. I don't know how programming works, but that's my very, very limited knowledge guess. Okay, um, hidden in a bit strong there. That one good. We good. Oh, no, wrong button. I always forget we need to doze off, so I'll do it here. Oh, shit. That wasn't too bad. Don't. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. Doze off for about four and a half minutes this time, is it? Oh, I should have done 420. <laughs> Okay, remember, remember the bloody elevator this time. That is next time, because this time I'm duping. Also, like, I should try breaking space time in the high energy lab to check if that has the glass shedding, shattering. <laughs> glass shedding. Imagine shedding glass. Anyway, um. <laughs> Because it doesn't, it hasn't had the glass shatter kind of animation thing that it normally has. But I know it looks a bit different when you do it live. When you break space time without dying, um, it looks a bit different. Still super early. Or maybe actually not, it'll be the sloop. We're far enough away not to get pulled up by the. Yeah, we'll be good. Oh wait, no. Oh, damn it. I'm waiting till the end of this loop. I forgot. Ah. Okay, my bad. Oh, it's so much smoother. It's so much smoother. Like, I've got to be onto something with the RAM. Because, like, if it was just the switch overheating, then it would still be running kind of slow, right? It's not like the switch is um, actually a, the part that's being overworked. I think the RAM actually resets. I think that's a thing. That must be a thing. Wrong side of the planet, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. There we go. Heal up, maybe. Ten more minutes, I guess. Should ought to do it. Red, she is red, but it looks like we got good time. We got good, plenty of time right now. If we make it, we can get inside this run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. don't screw around, don't screw around, don't screw around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Doesn't matter, actually, the ship doesn't matter in this loop, so let's get out. You know what's interesting? I think I might have already observed this one time, but I think that Nomai was hoping to get inside. They must have like seen the interlobrics explode 
and they were trying to get inside here because they thought this would be safe from the ghost matter, which it probably would be. Imagine if they survived. Not that I know what they would have done. <laughs> Alright. Mate taking us to Mungify and we'll just sit around, I guess. Nice. You know what, I don't even know... Is there like a beach there? Is that why people go there? I've heard I've heard the word Mungify so many times. Especially mispronounced. Um, <laughs> and I don't know what all the fuss is about. I don't know anything about it. Come on. Da -da 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 This time, because we didn't last time, we'll shoot the scout inside. What if I... Will the scout walk? If it's... <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Surely. I just feel like, like, is it just like a popular holiday? It sounds like it must be a popular holiday destination. Is there just like a nice beach there or something? Or is there actually something, I don't know, something I don't know about. <laughs> Just sand. It's not, not much different from Ash Twin. <laughs> Go scout, go. I believe. I believe. Oh yeah. Scout is gone. That's interesting that the photo came up white. I didn't take a photo, it just came up like that. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe I did take a photo. Oh, I had a I had a photo on screen, did I? I don't I don't know, I don't remember. Very interesting. Okay, now we sleep for four and a half minutes. Then we go, meet ourselves, grab the core, boost it to Strange Town, go up the elevator, and then we're right where we need to be to get into the prisoner's um, fire. But, um, oh, I didn't go to sleep. God, I'm stupid. I just forget. It's like, you know how you like, you walk upstairs or walk down the hall to go to your room. And you get in your room and you've completely forgotten what you went there to do. <laughs> this is me. I have a plan and then I wake up and I just go straight to the ship forgetting completely what my, my plan was. I'm like, oh no. I just always forget about the campfire right in front of you when you wake up. So I'll use Chirrut's one instead. We don't crash the goddamn bus. Now we get well, I always press the wrong button to blow up. Oh! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not unusable. I don't mind a bit of a crack. I embrace cracks. I wonder if you lose any... No, it doesn't look like... I don't know what I mean. It doesn't sound like oxygen is like depleting because there's a crack in the... in the glass. Where's the oxygen meter? I guess that one. Yeah, over here. Looks bloody green. Fuel's good. Oxygen's good. Who needs a bloody clean windscreen? Whew. Four minutes will do it. <laughs> 
fullness. Maybe 420. Just for fun. If I can land on 420. Ah. Too eager. It is pretty instant, like, you don't have to try and preempt it too much. Let's check in that four minutes. Do we lose any oxygen? No, we're good. We're good. Hypothesis disproved. You do not lose oxygen when the cockpit is cracked. God damn it. Come on, mate. Let's do this. Nice and easy. Hey self, bye self. Self so chill. They know that whatever I'm doing is probably more important than whatever their thoughts are about self-duplication. Well actually they know what I'm doing because I already had the plan to do this before I jump in there, so the me that jumped in there obviously knows what we're doing. I hope the supernova doesn't hurt too much. Consider well, considering I'm permanently killing both of us, right? That's the thing. Like, if there's no time loop, how are you breaking space time? You you just stop the time loop, so. There doesn't need to be someone to go back in the black hole at the end, right? Does there? I don't know. I think I need um, Doc Brown to explain this one to me because I I'm really pretty clueless on. I need his chalkboard and the like diverging timelines. All right, all right, all right. Let's get out of here. Let's just go up this way, sort of. Let's uh, check this on the map. Oh, that one. Oh, the buttons are all weird. Why is it Y to view but then A to mark? It should be just A and A. Whoops. I really, really can't wait to have a PS5 controller. And I really hope it works and recognizes the controller. Oh, good boy. But I guess maybe like they, when they built the Switch version, they wouldn't have any reason to include like the information of what PS5 buttons are, because they wouldn't expect any PS5 controllers to be connected to it. Okay. I mean, firstly, I'll just see if I can even get in in the the normal way. Maybe I don't need the elevator, but yeah, if I can get in the normal way, I'll just take a raft, because it's fun to take a raft. <laughs> Here I am giving myself ideas. Um, but I mean, if, if I don't get off the raft, it's, it's pretty harmless, right? I'll just take the raft all the way to the well. The well? The bell. You know what I mean. The thing where the, where the fire is. Oh my god, I, that freaked me out. Alrighty. Are we here in time? Oh, okay, we are here in time. How far away are we from certain death? 24%. 
Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, 23. It's going down quick though, isn't it? And we do lag in a little bit there. Oh, oh, I can feel the pressure of the countdown now. <laughs> this is my first time actually going down the river in this playthrough. It's definitely less exciting when it's laggy as hell and it doesn't have the river music because I've overridden the music. <gasps> Don't you dare fall off this raft. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's freaking swaying as hell. What's what oh my word. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. Going this way, I guess. Oh god. Okay, well I'm not gonna die if I fall off the raft at this point, because the reference aren't there. They're worse than I thought they were at this point. I am pretty much zooming down here pretty fast now. And here we are, 4%. Oh, we're, we're, we're timing it so well. <laughs> it's about to break. Oh, we're going to get swept away by the... I'm going to get onto a safe platform just to watch that happen. Bye bye. Oh no! Ah, oh, I screwed that up. Okay, I think we're good. We're not getting sucked in. We're not getting sucked away by the water. Oh, that just happened. That nearly killed us. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. We'll watch it drain out. <laughs> Archaeologists, many millennia from now, <laughs> will find this random warp core and be like, how did the inhabitants of this world use this? What's with the dot, the dot, dots? Oh yeah, I know, I would have been, I would have been so mad. doesn't seem to be that powerful when you're a reasonable distance away. I'm curious. What? You can't even look at the map from here. That's weird. I don't know what happened to my scout. Can I take a photo of my dead body? photos stop working <laughs> obviously <laughs> you don't enter the dream world at all interesting hypothesis has been disproved <sighs> now I want to break it normally just to see if the graphic is broken completely well, that was fun, and I think worth the wait. It was worth the f four hour wait. Uh, well, I was thinking you would at least get into the dream world before um, space time was broken. Because my other idea, because this was the last version of that idea I had ri actually written down. Shit, I just dropped. Um, what did I originally write down? I wrote, first, try just duplicating, then meditate, which I know breaks space time immediately. What is that? I can't hear that. I wasn't listening. Um, next is, oh, excuse me. Duplicate self and then sleep in the dream world. So normal 
them out. So now I'm interested in trying that actually, because clearly it's a different outcome than what I expected there. Um, and then duplicate self and then fire into the dream world, which is the same whether you remove ATP core or not. <laughs> Removing ATP was, didn't make a difference. Um, cause it didn't last long enough for it to make a difference. But actually I want to try now doing it just by sleeping. Um, so I'll duplicate myself and then just go straight to the stranger. And go to sleep normally. Because then I want to see what the... Surely I will still break space time, but it won't happen until the end of the loop. And the graphic will look... Actually, I want to test the graphic first, because I want to... I want to test if the normal the normal graphic is actually working at all, or if it's just when you die that it doesn't work. Um, I know, I'll pause because I need to, I need the time. Okay, so that's disproved. Space time breaks the upon death do not into the dream world. Um, whoops, um, whoops, um, what's my help with the pythos here? Duplicate self, then sleep to enter the dream world. What about meditation? That probably be the same result. Um, you will break space time at the end of the loop. Actually, I want to take out the ATP core on this one as well because I want to get to the furthest point time-wise that I can, I think. I'll specify that I'm dozing off here. And what did I say? And, and but before that, I'm going to check the graphic in the high energy lab. So there is some waiting time because we do have to wait for some sand although nah it's like you have to be early enough to get to the bottom of the sunless city but then after that you have to wait for the sand i think it's a one two punch sort of situation whoa this could be a good flyby like that all right all right all right Because I feel like what's interesting to me about breaking space-time once you're in the dream world is um, more about what happens visually than just whether or not you do break space-time. There is Groovy Cat in there.
Whoop. Nearly impaled my dick on that rock there. <laughs> well, actually, I, I shouldn't assume that the hatchling has a dick. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know how Harthian biology works. Let's go be doop. 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 Worth a try. You never know if maybe it was a, a glitch in this version of the game we could get through. Uh, tell us. Tell us. Tell us all you know, Garmy. Does this hurt? That doesn't hurt you, right? I'm just already hurt. Yeah. I don't know that I'm right about this. I have to wait for quite a while for that to go down. To come up, I mean. Maybe they give you quite a lot. Of, I think they give you too much time. They should have made it their like, because I think they allow enough time so that you can go the long way. Um, that looks cool. Uh, from the... Um, escape pod. I reckon they should have made it that it's literally not possible to get in here unless you're fast enough and to be fast enough you have to know the shortcut. I, I more mean like, like I still think they should have this puzzle where you have to wait here for the sand. So like, oh, but then they were, oh, actually, nah, I think actually maybe, maybe you're right because the good thing about that sand puzzle is that, oh, you know, you have, <coughs> God. Um, you have the option to go back because if you didn't have the option to go back you'd be like I'm trapped I don't know what to do and then you would hang around and you would just find out oh the sand comes up and I can get through shit I don't know the way around here very well this way um, so actually it's probably good that there's heaps of time because it means you can go back um, when you don't realize the whole sand thing yeah they know what they're doing what am I, doing? What am I bloody talking about I remember the first time I did this, I was like so, like, freaked out. I was like, oh my god, I found it, I found it, I figured it out. And then I just screwed this jump up so bad. <laughs> nice. Alright, 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 alright. Let's get funky. Diverting power from the sun directly into these black holes. Black hole and white hole. Now there's a couple of different methods I think. You could either... Um, I've seen some people just remove the core while the scout stooped, but the way I remember doing it is just removing my scout. 
Oh, you can't retrieve it when there's too many cats. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So you just have to do that. Seems too easy. Oops. Oops. That seemed to go very fast. Oh, okay. I'm just not very good at timing this. There we go. G'day mate. Okay, so the graphic works just fine when you do it in the lab. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So when you die, the only thing that happens is that the colors invert. But because you can't see anything, you don't. it just goes white. But I've definitely seen other players do it where there's like a glass cracked look on the white. So, I don't know, it just seems a bit different in this one. Um, okay, so... Um, what are we doing? Duplicate then doze off and enter the dream world. And wait to the end of the loop. I'll remove, I'll remove ATP as well. Do I need to doze off? Yes, I do. I'm waiting to the end. I'm waiting to the very end, so give it 16 minutes, I guess. Yeah, um, the difference is that, yeah, I guess there's no difference. I mean, because normally if you ignore the stranger, what happens is if the ATP's in, then the black hole ignites, and then you don't jump into it, so you break space time. If you've removed the core, then it the black hole doesn't ignite. Therefore, you probably break, break space time as soon as it doesn't ignite. So actually, maybe you have just a few seconds longer if you don't remove the core. Maybe I won't remove the core. I won't remove the core. That's fine. It does make it slightly simpler. Four twenty. Ah, so close. So close. Okay, I think gamma is too high actually. Spin around, turn around, turn around, I just huh I've come really close to the mouth real close <sighs> what we're we gonna get close to now now nah, we get we get we get we get good I always never use the landing camera to land. <laughs> I 
That's a noble idea. Okay. What tower are we close to? There is the twins. How close is the end of it? Yeah, it's got a little bit of distance left. A bit early. That's right there. We'll enjoy, enjoy our time here. So we probably are going to be in the last rotation before entry, before the end I mean. What the hell? Very interesting. I want to know. Scouts on the outside. Will it emergency recall when it gets supernova? Can I watch the supernova? Hey, you get to watch the rave party. The rave party bug that I found. If I go like this really rapidly. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can watch the supernova and see if it recalls the scout or if it just sits there. As long as we. Yeah, we still have time to go in the black hole after that. Are you still going to watch a movie tonight? It's already past midnight. Oh, what the hell? It no longer does the flashy thing when the sun's gone? What? Very weird. Why would that make a difference? Ah. It did recall. Good to know. So the supernova is powerful enough to destroy your scout, but not the black hole core, apparently. Alright, straight to the stranger now, right? Yeah, straight to the stranger. Oh, actually, we, uh, to save time, because we do want to wait till the end of the loop. We will sleep for about 18 minutes, I think. Maybe 17 minutes. We'll use the elevator this time because we'll go straight to the prisoner's one.
we'll go for 420 again actually, 1620 that is which is 420 in the afternoon if you're counting it like a clock like a 24 hour clock <gasps> what if I meet the prisoner? No. yeah, what if I meet the prisoner? will I still break space time? The thing is that time pauses when you meet the prisoner. So, um, hmm, let's try to think. Oh, wait, no, you have to die to meet the prisoner, so ignore me. Don't worry. Unless I knew the code, which I don't. I could Google it, <laughs> I can find out what the code is. But, that's not really going to change the outcome because in both cases we're just waiting for the end of the loop yeah. I thought it would just be funny if, if like the break space time animation happened when you were talking to the stranger but time completely pauses once you I think once you go down that elevator maybe um Which means you can't die or have reached the end of the loop until you go back out. <sighs> so the dam breaks at about 10 minutes, so it's definitely broken now. You know what I could have done? I could have just gone straight there and dozed off at the fire for 16 minutes and then woken up in the dream world. <sighs> I'm so close, it's so far. Pressing all the bloody wrong buttons. Forty seven kilometers out now. So I think the supernova's range is about fifty kilometers. Which is <laughs> Not very far. I mean, in this solar system, even in this solar system, I feel like a supernova's range would extend further than just the last, like, the, you know, the full orbit of the furthest planet. I guess it's a bit further out than Bramble. Bramble's probably like 26Ks out or something, 30Ks out. It's still not very, like you should have to go at least a hundred before you're away from the supernova. Unless they had already planned the whole stranger thing before they, because they had ideas for it. I don't know if they had planned the whole thing about how it would be distant, distance itself from the supernova at the end. I love this little, I might just quickly visit this window because I love this thing. It's the only window in the game, in the, in the Stranger, that I, I believe, that is not an LED, that is not a RGB screen, I mean. It's actually glass. And when you try and look through from here, I don't think you can see it from this side. Well, I can't see it with a scout. But, um... Hey, gravity's here in here.
Hello. Oh god, these things freak me out, man. Just everything about this place freaks me out. I think I have reduced fries on. <laughs> Not that it really matters at this point. Um, so I think this window is still an out, out, yeah. This, this, this window is still a, a screen. You can see the pixels there. Oh, beautiful. But, where's the scout? I can't quite see it. Um, if I go to the control room, wherever the play on the control room is. Oh god, I hope I'm not wasting too much time. I forgot that I dozed off for quite a while. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I keep getting distracted, doing shit I'm not supposed to do. Oh, God. This is the way out, this is the way out. We can do it, we can make it, we can make it, we've got time. We have got time. Didn't have time to show you what I wanted to show you, but that's fine, that's fine. That, that's, that doesn't matter, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to doze off at a campfire, you dummy. Hypothesis. Um, in this case is you. Uh, I might double check. I'll get. I'll make sure I'm dozing off before I bloody check. But I think it's you will doze off. Sorry, if you doze off into the dream world, you will break space time at the end of the loop when you're inside the dream world. I'll just pull it up. If you duplicate yourself, doze off into the drip you know what I'll try next time I want to try staying dozed off and see what happens depending on the outcome of this yeah you will break space time at the end of the loop I don't even know when the end of the loop is now because I can't hear the music Normally you hear it muffled, but because I already... Oh. Oh. oh, that looks so cool. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the visuals of it be freaky as. Oh, imagine doing that when like a ghost bird is chasing you. <sighs> that was cool. All right, so confirmed. Do you want me to try it while dozing off and just stay dozed off? What do you mean I had this ship HUD? What? What? You mean the, do you mean the, um, did I have the, um, helmet hard. Is that what you mean? That would be weird. Visuals in the dream are inverted. I wasn't in the dream world. You're right, I wasn't. Did I not wake up in the dream world initially? Before it broke? What happened? Oh, okay, hold on. Oof. Uh. I, I need to do it again. What? I, just, I can't rewatch myself. So I can't see what happened. What if I pull up my own stream and stream manager, will it show up? It's probably too far out now. Yeah, I can't go back. So 
so did you notice the ship hud was there prior to breaking space time or did it only show up oh sorry not that. you know how you saw the the thing that's you're right though because when a, the visuals are inverted when the visuals are inverted you could see the lot the seals on the thing which shouldn't be there in the dream world because they move the casket so if i saw the seals i wasn't in the dream world Yeah, 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 that's fine. I knew that's what you meant, but I'm confused about whether or not you saw that before it broke space time or did it show that. Uh, uh, like, I obviously just need to do it again. Because I don't remember if the seals were, if I could see the seals there when I woke up from the um, dozing off. Did I? Oh, oh, hold on. Nah, of course I didn't enter the dream world. I didn't have an artifact. What am I... What am I thinking? I've completely forgotten how to play this game. Oh, oh, of course. I'm so stupid. Okay, well that obviously... is completely... Okay, so, th so the reason... we saw the inverted... Exited the game. No, I didn't. I mean, oh yeah, that's why I wasn't looking, because I was looking at this. I mean, I'm I've still obviously see Outer Wilds on my monitor. It's bigger than this one when I can see the sheet. But um, so that I I didn't even go into the dream world, so I can't say that. The reason that the the they were inverted is because. Basically, that's how what that's what happens. If you don't die, if you just wait till the end of the loop and you break space time, that way the the visuals get inverted. But I was asleep. I mean, not asleep, and I wasn't dreaming. So I failed the test. Ah, <sighs> okay. We go on once more. It has taken so long. It's been like five hours since I wrote that hypothesis down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> am I breaking space time or is space time breaking me? <laughs> So I wanted to try two things. So firstly, we'll do what I want to do, which is wake up in the dream world. See what happens. I feel like maybe I've already tried this. Maybe I've actually done this before. I have a vague, vague memory of breaking space time inside the dream world. Maybe I'm dreaming that. <laughs> um, and the other thing I want to try is, what happens if you just stay dozed off? In fact, what happens if you do that regardless if you've duplicated yourself? Because, um, it's like, if you're at a normal fire like this, and you get to the end of the loop, it wakes you up about a minute before so it can play the music. Would it do that if you're at the campfire with the artifact? W would you wake up in the dream world and you start hearing the music? Or do you not wake up at all and the loop ends? And then what happens when you do that after duplicating yourself? We're going to hit full 20 this time. I believe it. I believe. Oh my god, so 19 every time. Oh, okay. I have a new place to add to this map.
Why does it feel like I'm way later than 16 minutes in? Why can I not get away from that tree? Okay. Where is the ash twin? Where did you go? Did you disperse all your sand? To and fro. Oh my god. There you are. Oh, we just missed it. We just bloody missed it. God damn it, I'm so stupid. Whee! That's cool. I mean, it looks very different, but I don't know if that's intentional or not that they've removed the white sphere when you go inside the sun. It looks quite interesting though. So we write down the next one. Well, maybe it should maybe it depends on but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens with this first one, then we'll decide what my next hypothesis is. Oh god. So annoyed at myself. Sixteen minutes was too long. Okay, we'll go for fourteen twenty. And we'll doze off straight away this time, we're fluffing around. That's right, it's because I was sitting here looking at my spreadsheet for ages before I bloody went there. Okay. Mm. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. <sighs> this game just really doesn't want me to do this. There must be something very interesting. <laughs> oh my god. I love how I can find ways to stretch the simplest test into the longest, <laughs> the longest thing ever. I did do one previous test before this, which is, um, I don't know, I'll do it off first. Which one? This one. I did test that one at the beginning. Which I wasn't that surprised by the result, but I was kind of hoping that you could survive just a few more seconds in the core of Timbaha, just because you're surrounded by so much of that rock that is um, impenetrable. Well, not impenetrable, but um, resistant to supernova. Better come back. Oh, 19. Why am I so bad at hitting 20? I'm just always trying to preempt that. I just can't. <sighs> I really wish there was just a good Transformers movie. Cause like, <laughs> I love how my brain just says stupid ass things out of nowhere. Um, but I, that thought came about because I for some reason had the Baby Come Back song, which is, uh, plays in the first Transformers movie. Um, I just, I feel like, like, one and three are like, half decent movies. They're like, entertaining to a degree, but like, they're not good movies. Or well, not, certainly not close to great movies. And like Transformers as a concept, I think I find very interesting, and certainly was, it was you know have a lot of nostalgia around watching like oh shit 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 don't kill yourself, um, watching the old cartoons or one of the old cartoon series that was on TV when I was a kid. 
It's just that no one's really done it justice. I mean, like, the, my problem with the first movie when I rewatched it recently was like, it's too cartoony. Like, I, I really, really love like the first 40 minutes or something. And then Optimus Prime arrives and opens his mouth and he's just like, I am Optimus Prime and we must retrieve the Allspark before the universe is taken over by Decepticons. It was just like, ugh. Ugh. Like, who cares? It just, I just lost all interest. And, yeah, like the final, like, kind of action scenes just weren't even that good in that movie. They're just kind of too generic and action-y. Like, they were just typical, they were more like Fast and Furious style action than, I don't know, interesting action. But I mean, Batman is an inherently ridiculous concept, isn't he? Freaking guy dresses up as a bat and just punches people and that is somehow a superhero, you know? And he hasn't really had much justice on film outside of the Dark Knight trilogy. So it can be done. You just need to pay Christopher Nolan a lot of money. And he will do Transformers. <laughs> I actually have a pitch for an Outer Wilds inspired... Outer Wilds and Interstellar inspired movie. Um, but I might talk about that in another stream because it's, it's a long pitch. But I reckon, if Chris Nolan played this game, he would be like, oh my god, yes. And he would immediately write the script. But I think the basis of my idea for the movie is that you don't actually... It's not based on the Hearthian's journey. Or even the Nomai's journey that we know of. That we know of up to... Wait, what am I doing this loop? I'm going through the thing at the end, don't worry. Um, but basically... You, you wouldn't even tell people it's an Outer Wilds movie. You would just make it this kind of um, space-based movie. And for, and the very end of the movie is is what happens to Eskal's clan. Now I think you can't, you just have to adapt it so you, you kind of use your creative interpretation. You don't make the main characters go to people because I feel like that would be pretty hard to get audiences on board with. <laughs> outside of making it in, in a 3D animated movie, I guess, but... <laughs> oh no, yeah, nah. Nah, I've, um, I'm off track with the love sci-fi. I feel like, um... Arrival was amazing. But that was more, you know, that was sci-fi more than space. It wasn't, like, just because there were aliens in it didn't really mean it was, it wasn't about space or space travel or anything. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, basically, I would just, like, love a movie that kind of sets up the Nomai's existence prior to them arriving here. And then that's where the movie kind of ends. It's on and a somewhat hopeful but also terrifying reveal that th that this these people have been stranded on this solar system that they don't know anything but then they see in the distance Timberhalf and like this beautiful blue planet and like there's hope and that's where it kind of ends and then you hear the Timberhalf music and then all the Outer Wilds fans go oh my god what <laughs> um I feel like I just spoiled my pitch I made it too I, I spoiled the ending of my but you know oh yeah what else has he done was it a he did it was it a guy that directed that um 
why why is that why do you say that is it just because you like the creative interpretation of the story and you just want something that's very different or do you like the style a lot or... more people should watch wendy i i'm so pissed that disney just went and made their own peter pan movie when Wendy existed and they could have just advertised that and then not spend money on making another movie they didn't need to make. I don't know. Oh shit, yeah, I need to see that. <laughs> nice yeah fair he could be cool if it was like actually an adaption of the Harthian story but I think the problem with adapting the Harthian story is that then you spoil the game oh I didn't even have to move it just sucked me in and if, if I, I reckon if there was a movie to be made about Art of Wilds I think it's important that they don't spoil the game because then People are like, oh, this is cool, I want to go check out the game, but then they know the whole story of the game, and then it's kind of, you know. Yeah. Maybe if it was like literally 10 years from now, at least, before they did the adaption, then I'd be okay with like, at that point. At that point, this will be considered an old relic, <laughs> you know? Um. Man, what do you think gaming's going to be like in 10 years? Like, it's de developed so much even in, well, wait, 10 years ago was 2013. Okay, to be honest, it hasn't developed that much in the last 10 years, actually. It developed a lot in the last, in the 10 years before that. Oh my god, this is loads so slow. Okay, I am going straight to the stranger, right? Yeah, I'm going straight to the stranger. No falling around here. Wait, no I'm not. No, I am. I can because I'm gonna doze off anyway. I can just doze off at the camp. Well, what do you mean by collapse? What what's gonna You just think like the way the industry is with like microtransactions and all that kind of the way they sell games is gonna collapse? Because, like, there will always be studios that make great games, I guess. Well, okay, maybe that's optimistic, because that assumes that there's always enough money for people to actually do the things they want in life, which is probably a resource that's going to run out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that happens with every industry where it's happening with movies right now, I reckon. Um... Every industry where like big, rich, dick, whatever you call them, you know, CEOs and shit, are the ones deciding what to make. And they make the stupidest ass decisions and they just pump more and more money into it when they really don't need to spend as much money as they're doing. And then they have to charge the dicks off the customers to try and recoup it. And it just makes it not a very fun experience for anyone. And then they lose all their money because people start realizing that it's just generic crap and there's a bunch of underpaid, overworked people working on it. Like how, like the new Aquaman movie, people have realized that it just looks like a generic piece of garbage and they don't want to see it. Okay, like, wait, should I go? Should I go here? And these movies are spending so much money. Disney has actually lost so much money this year. Look at Dan Murrell's videos on like box office stuff. If you follow him, you'll see like he keeps like a track of an estimated amount of how much he thinks Disney has lost this year. I think it's like over a billion dollars. Because they don't know how to budget their movies reasonably anymore. 
Let's go to the cliffs. Let's go to the cliffs. That way I can at least move around somewhere when I'm in the dream world. Maybe I could even... Oh, Jesus Christ. I was going to say maybe I could even activate the... the new bob. What am I thinking of? The, the thing that makes the ghost birds wake up anyway, as I was thinking of. Which, by the way, I've started calling them ghost birds because I listened to part of a devs reacting to someone speedrunning a 100% ship log of the stranger. That was quite interesting because they're like reacting to all their like exploits and stuff. Um, which is quite funny. Holy moly, this is... Damn, this rapid's ridiculous. But they call them ghost birds. Really, that's what they call them internally. Which is fair. They kind of look like ghost birds, I guess. Well, they are ghost birds. They are ghosts and birds. Damn it, lag. I wonder just how much more ideas in his brain about like the inner workings of this universe and like lore and stuff that he just has never gone into because they're like you know when you make something like this any kind of story like this you, you always have so many more ideas surely that never got like put in because you know there's no room for extra fluff Um, but I guess in in some cases, like, it can be a bad thing to reveal all your extra ideas. <coughs> Rolling. Um, that was really bad. <laughs> God, these guys frighten me. They actually terrify me. I remember the first time we found them. I was so freaked out and it was probably really late at night and it was we we didn't like after like two nights we decided we had to just turn the lights on to, to play this game because it was too dark and freaky for me. I guess I'm just gonna I don't know how long I've got to the end of the loop, so maybe I'll wait for I'll, I'll doze off for like 10 minutes maybe? <sighs> but I love that they put a clue in, this, in the embers being green. Where we, we, we found this and we were like, there's something different about this. And we tried dozing off here, but we didn't know about the artifact. We just tried dozing off and nothing happened. And we were like, hmm. And I can't remember how we realized. We must have realized eventually when we saw like one of the slide reels or something. But it was such a satisfying and terrifying realization to learn about the dream world for the first time. You didn't seem scared. I don't remember you being scared. I remember me being scared. <laughs> I thought you were pretty chill with it. Oh god, what's the lag for? Why is it lagging so much? Okay, let's see if we can get somewhere visually interesting. I have no idea how long we've all ended the loop now. It's probably less than five minutes. These controls are annoying. I wish it was ZR. Oh, that's only because I'm using it. Well, 
Well, I guess it's made for the Joy-Cons, but yeah. Interesting. You said the best part about them is that they scared you? That's unquestionably the worst part. Oh yeah. Do you know where the hidden bridge is? What if the... What happens visually if you break space-time when you're outside this? There's the bridge over there. Oh man. This is lagging pretty bad. There's too much to look at. There is a bridge right there. That's how you get to the elevator straight away. Interesting. Wait. Where did I put the scout? Over there. I mean, not the scout. Yeah, but I reckon it only produces that reaction like the first three times, and then you're just sick of it, then you're just like, ah, oh. you know, like it's just annoying at that point. How do I put it down? Yeah. Can't drop it off the cliff. <laughs> so close. So I need to figure out where this bridges. Ah, oh, so you've got to drop onto this little platform and you can go down. Interesting. What's really the point of that? Because you can get through there. Well, you have to make the bridge to get through there, I guess. So, what's... Oh, 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 oh. This, you can completely skip the stealth section here by going over this bridge but you have to have learned about this simulation thing and which archive do you learn about that in? Do you learn about it in this one? I don't remember. Oh hold on, but you have to turn the lights out. Oh, but there's no strangers past this point, I think. Past the bridge? I don't remember. Curious. Gami, do you reckon, once I hear the music, should I, oh actually, you know what, I can do both, because I can stand outside. If I'm trying to see something interesting visually, I can like stand like this, and see what happens to the visuals on both sides. Yeah, I don't worry. All right, I'm gonna go Oh, hold on, no, no, no. Because I would have to... I'd have to lose my flame, wouldn't I? No, it's not worth it. I'd have to lose... No, I'd have to jump on the rubber and then I risk... Oh! I think we must be at the end. That must be the final tower. Yeah, I can hear it. This shit freaks me out. It freaks me out so bad. <gasps> no! No! Oh. oh, it's fine, it's fine. We'll have time, we'll have time. God. I thought I was gonna, well, when you think you're gonna die. Okay, I'll just put it where I had it before on the bridge. That looked kind of cool. So I'm obviously not very good at going across invisible bridges. See if anything interesting happens, eh? Hang 
goes the supernova. Takes its bloody time, doesn't it? <laughs> nice, nice. Hypothesis is confirmed. Finally. Finally. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, that was actually the second one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, visuals. In dream world. Are inverted. That feels good. Okay. Oh, don't tell me the. Twitch disconnected when that happened. God. Um, still streaming, should be good. So I want to know, I'll do the exact same thing, but don't wake up from the dozing off. I'm going to guess that I need to hear what the hell they're saying, because I can't hear what they're saying at the end of that. Um, what was I saying? If you stay dozed off, normally the supernova music wakes you up, but does the same thing happen in the, when you're dozing off at the fire with the artifact, and would you wake up in the dream world and then it happens? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense for the supernova music to wake you up. Or does it? Maybe it does. I don't know. Let's let's try write something down and we'll, we'll, we'll try. Well, this bloody oh, I have to do the whole duplication thing again, which takes so bloody long. Um, you stay dozed off at a stranger fire with artifact. Supernova will wake you up into the dream world. Does the same thing happen if you don't have the core? It must do. Yeah, it would behave the same way. No way that would be different. <laughs> how, how is it stuck there? I cannot clearly see what it is stuck on. It's just like, just barely. Oh, it's gonna get sucked up.
Big shelter. Oh man. Oh no. I should open up all the doors and do like... Uh, hardcore pod racing in this direction. I just, like, it's so hard to not leave the atmosphere. I'll wait for a little while, don't I? It's still pretty sandy right now. Yeah, probably two more. Two more rotations. Control drift is happening again. Is this like why is this is so stupid? What is this? Is that no? It okay, it's only happening in game. It's just forcing me to look downwards. Pause for zoom, no. Because I can use that stick to do this. So something's being screwed with in game. And it only has happened, it's happened now twice when I use the scout to go in here. For some reason that does it. Oh, when I use the scout again, it's fixed. What the heck? Very weird. Okay, let's see if we can trap ourselves in here again. That was fun last time. Wait, what was my hypothesis here? Stay doze off at the stranger fire without effect. Supernova will wake you up into the dream world. I don't even need to break space time for this. Oh well, I guess we're doing it now. have gone through the warp again but how did you end up I guess you just don't always land right on the pad I don't know can I push you into the hole no nope, I can't push you into anything no. 
how it's gonna land. <laughs> I'm gonna move my scout. Here we go. Stuck on the inside, that's if you like to be on the outside. What is on the outside? I'm like double layered. I really wish that this didn't open. I guess I don't see why it has to be open for the information to go through because then the information gets sent in through here or is that just the power? Where does the information actually go? Yeah, I should step back when it opens and have a look. Have an observation of shit. So I guess it comes from... Ah, I see, it does go, it does need to be open. It somehow magically just goes up there, I don't know. There's, there's not really any lines going that way. Like, wires, I mean, there should be wires or something. Never noticed that it just goes through mid air. So I'm just going to sleep at the fire and stay asleep. Might as well sleep for like. 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there or something, just to make it interesting. Although, that makes life harder for getting an artifact. No, I won't screw with it. I'll just go the normal way. Go the normal way, don't risk your life. from my does right really wish it wouldn't stop yeah, piss off getting removed from this I'm going to engage autopilot. Can I engage autopilot in such a way that it will try and fly me straight through for the giant steep? Basically, if I align myself already, then it won't do any aligning, and then I just put giant steep in between us. Okay, that's harder than it looks. Much harder than it looks. Considering. Oh god. Does the stranger eclipse other planets? Or is it just the sun? Okay, I don't know. I'm flying so far away from it. I do kind of want to go on the other side of it and see if it eclipses giant steep.
Come on, come closer. It doesn't appear so. Why does it only eclipse the sun? It looks very different right now. Where's the entrance? Oh, I'm on the side. How did that happen? I really should stop being screwy with my injection. <laughs> it is because it's I think more shit I think there's more flying sources on the cool reveal side yeah and you go upstairs yeah we're on the cool side the cool side I wonder what those boxes are Imagine the lag on this. This being a first time reveal will still be exciting, but like, be nice if it ran more smooth. Oh shit, I need to get to the Ghostman house. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Why gravity sucks so much in here? Why don't I try that again? I really thought I could get through this gap, didn't I? Oh shit, I'm running out of fuel. Oh my god, okay. Let's go back this way. Am I? No, I'm not near the end of the loop. Look at that. None of that matters. Timing doesn't matter. Just get somewhere safely. Screw you. Go around. I want to... Shit, do I know where the other artifact is? I'm pretty sure this one just in the movie theater, isn't it? In the... Oh, actually, oh. Maybe it's not. Maybe oh, hello. God, that freaks me out. I think it's actually like a very confusing game mechanic. Um, only because of later on when the lights go out in that in the prisoner's puzzle, and I was convinced that the lights going out had something to do with these lights going out. <laughs> but uh, they did help later on when they added the section where they show them going to sleep. Although some players st still get really badly stuck on it. Okay. Um. Did we? I don't remember how long we were stuck, like not knowing what to do. Did we? Were we stuck? Oh, shit. Were we stuck for a while before we figured? I mean, I know we were stuck for a while figuring out that the lights affected the tower. But like. I, I don't remember our experience well enough to know kind of how it all happened.
Okay. It's not in this one. It must it must be in the cliffs. I think there's an artifact of the movie theater um, in the cliffs. If not, I'll just loop around and go back to Artifact House. I mean, Gersmith House. It's weird that there's not one, as far as I can tell. There isn't an artifact in this middle section. You have to go to Gersmith House to get there, I guess. But for this one, for some reason, there's an extra one. Um, I don't know. Ada bing ba da boom. I don't know what I'm doing. By the way, I finished Symbol of these playthrough. It's very beautiful. Mm, but she got also very confused at the end. When the stranger walks into the water, it's it's not clear that it's the end of the game. Even though, oh, what they've done now is there is a title card. But the title card doesn't happen until the end of the loop. So you can still sit around being very confused on what you're supposed to do next before the loop ends and there's a title card to say you basically reach the end of Echoes. Um, I think she made a good point in that it would be better if you actually saw the stranger walk into the water. Because I think the last vision he gives you... <laughs> Yeah, she started Undertale now, eh? Um, which, by the way, do you think I would enjoy playing that? Should I play that on stream, or should I just watch her play it? Or would it not matter, because everyone's play is different? Um, but, what was I saying? Um... Giant closing... Video. I mean, it's clear that you're close to the end, but it's not clear that when you, you know, when the stranger leaves and so the prisoner leaves and goes back upstairs, you, it's kind of confusing because you're like, why are you leaving? And then you don't see what happens to them. You can kind of piece together, oh, it looks like they went in the water, but. It's, it's not super duper clear for a lot of people. And, um, um, I think the problem in what she said would be good was like, well, because I was saying that the vision he gives you at the end is really, really beautiful because it, it basically shows, it's basically him or them asking you to join them in death because their assumption is that you they must know that you've died to get into the dream world to talk to them but they obviously don't know you're in a time loop and are going to go back um so the they're basically asking you join me on this metaphorical raft into the metaphorical sunset which is our deaths um but it's kind of unclear because they've already gone in the water. You know? Um, so, yeah. It'd be, it'd be more clear if they sh just showed you the vision with a torch. Or like did a, did a face scan, put the torch on the ground, and then they walk in the water and then you watch the torch video. And then you're like, oh my god. And then, then, you, then you know, then you follow them in the water then the loop ends, you get the t Echo's title. Because the intention, I think, from the designers is they're asking you, they want you to go into the water, they want you to follow the footsteps, rather than just sit around and being confused until the loop ends. Because she said that kind of took out some of the emotion for her, because she was like, oh, is there more to do? Ah, hypothesis is confirmed. Now I just get to watch space-time get broken again. It's interesting that it automatically wakes you I mean, it makes sense just from a game mechanic point of view that it wakes you up. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
<laughs> okay, recommend watching some gameplay to get an idea. Combat is hard. So it, you don't think it's going to spoil anything for me to watch a couple eps of Symbolity? Um, I'm pretty happy with finally getting some confirmations <laughs> after six hours of gameplay. <laughs> what did we confirm? We confirmed that... Uh, so we got four different ones here. So we disproved you cannot survive longer in the core of Timberhearth. Um, and then regarding the Ashton Project and Stranger, when you duplicate yourself. If you enter the dream of my death. Um, you do still break space time. And you can break space time even inside the loop, inside the dream. And you automatically get working up. Even if you're dozing off at the campfire into the dream world, which I find interesting because Like, in theory, there's like, well, I don't know if there's exterior, like, diegetic music that's waking you up. Or if it's just like, that's the end of your nap because you've had long enough. I don't really know what the, I guess, the internal logic of is why you actually wake up. But I kind of assume that there is actually some kind of outer, um, element that, that is, that is waking you up. And that's why you can hear the music diegetically and why in the dream world you hear it kind of muffled. Because the character is actually hearing something. Maybe that's literally music that gets played by ATP, like into your brain or something, to let you know, hey bro, it's about to, loop's about to end, prepare whatever you need to do, you know. And um, I just kind of would have thought if you're in a dream state, maybe it wouldn't wake you up, but... Yeah, from a gameplay point of view, it makes perfect sense that so that's why they haven't. I think the most surprising result was this one. The fact that you don't even go into the dream, you just break space time immediately because you died. We'll, um, we'll try and do the Gabra's log stuff <laughs> next time. But for now, that was pretty satisfying, I'd say. Pretty good. Pretty fun, I think. Thanks, um... Thanks so much everyone for joining in. And um, also if anyone has ideas for like things you want me to try out, please comment and let me know and um, I'll add to my very long list of things. <laughs>